Hello, Daddy's Doodle Den. Like once again, I'm back. It's Saturday. Uh, what a beautiful in, day. In, yeah, Los Angeles. I uh, got up uh, fairly early, around 10 o'clock. Went for a hike. And now it's Daddy's Doodle Den. I got a busy day. Got a uh, live uh, performance going on in the store pretty soon here. And also the memories of us ourselves have a live performance tonight in Highland Park here in Los Angeles. Uh, so it's a busy, busy, busy day. We had Kyle Newcheck over here earlier with Josh from the Fade Out, Fade Out. Uh, which I think that they're thinking of changing their name to that. Fade up, fade out? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's what I said. And, uh, you know, fucking they're the homies. It's good to be see you guys. It's crazy, man. It's, like, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. You're crazy. It's crazy, man. Daddy, you're crazy. I don't see anything in the chats. Yeah, I see one. It says one watching now. And that's us, I guess. And then... I don't see anybody watching on the on the Twitch neither. Give them some time. Take a couple minutes. Uh, let's see, I'm I'm getting on there right now too. Ooh. Two watching now. Smash that like button if you haven't yet. I'm gonna do it from our account. Three watching now. I need to smash that coffee button. Yeah, I need. I had to smash a little coffee right now too. Is there coffee? Yeah, I don't know how old it is. But it tastes fine with some almond milk. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. But we don't have any ice, huh? Nope. I just go. I just went right in. We have like a little bit of like not of you know left the like crumbs. Ice flakes. Oh, it's Dark Tapes Network, guys. What's up? It's Daddy Two Old Dad. Oh, I like this background a lot. It's cool, huh? Yeah. I got. It's like I've had these backgrounds for a while, but I like just moved them onto a hard drive. That's like would go fast enough on the network but it's like a collection of hd background motion backgrounds that loop you know um but it's like totally a collection that a church put together so a lot of them are like crosses and like nice. like thank you for your prayers and stuff like that pretty thank funny you for your prayers yeah yeah guys thank you for your prayers but thank you most for your smashing that like button well we had three watching now we're back to one <laughs> they said fuck this yeah <laughs> nice yeah, someone liked it before they went away yeah, that's not bad. Well, let's see, guys. Let's show you what I It's Daddy's Doodle Dan, guys. I like how Gordon Ramsay is like all over the uh, the suggested videos on our YouTube right now. Yeah. Or your YouTube, but our YouTube. Yeah. Recommended. It's interesting because Ricky's personal YouTube is our brand YouTube. Yeah. It's cool. Infrared. What up? He says, Ola. What? With two L's, no H. Ola. 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 Ola, homies. Ola, homies. It almost looks like it says, um, like men um. in French. Um. Hum. Hum. Hums. Wow, guys. I need some coffee. Pretty soon I'm expecting a phone call from the weed delivery service, and I got some dabs coming my way. Uh, but for instance, we jamming in on the most badass, awesome station in the world. But wanted to say hi. Hell yeah! Nice. Hi. Welcome to uh, back to another exciting episode of Daddy's Doodles, Dan. Daddy Doodle, Dan. I uh, got three watching, two likes, spank the like button. Spank the like button. So yeah, I've always I've always loved to uh to doodle, to draw. It's been a passion of mine for a long time. I uh just can't get enough. I never stop. I never play video games. I just draw. Junk rat. I drew a junk rat last night from the Overwatch series that you might have heard of. Five watching now. Daddy's hey. Doodle Dan. There we go. I'm sort of pep up my step. There is a little tequila over there. I could have a little sip and see how that lands me, how that goes. That would definitely pep up your step. That would definitely pep up my step, he says. Um, I'll get it when uh, I get the dab phone call. But for now, I'm just going to say hello. To all you people, how are you doing out there? 
Say hello in the chat. Let me know how uh, your weekend is going and how your week was. Things you're looking forward to uh, doing. Things you uh, got planned. Uh, some cool stuff. What you, what's going on? How are you doing? Brie Bank says, yo, what up, Brie Bank? Got four likes now. That's Brie not... Bank. How you doing, Brie Bank? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Share that link. Yeah, share. Show them what you think. Share that link, Azoid, man. I'm just doodling. I'm just doodling. I'm letting it flow. I let my doodle flow. Like a mountain stream, I let my doodle flow. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's the doodle land. Alright. A bad doodle. He's a cute little guy. He's like a little baby man with a little funny little baby. Give it a go, man. There you go. Oh, yeah. What's up? For watching. Brie Bake, how's your day going? Let me know. Let me know, dog. I wanna know. Yep. It's just me on Doodle Dan over here right now. She had Isaac over here with me. Where is Isaac? Where is Isaac, everybody? Reason I was being brave last night. I went to a party. I got that bad social anxiety. Of course, I got sick. Oh, I'll see you now. How about you? I uh, also went out last night. Uh, and I got drunk, and then I went, uh, I woke up this morning and went for a hike. And, uh, yeah, that's how I was doing. Yeah, I feel you on social anxiety. Sometimes I don't, I also don't want to go out because I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. So I just got to, you know, you got to go out, got to be social, part of being a human being. So, I went out last night and I saw Cola Boy. Uh, really good. Cola Boy was very good. I like Cola Boy. I don't know if you guys know about Cola Boy, but he's really good. Uh, I was fucking pretty turned up last night at TBH. Rick says, I, I just word vomit and I can't stop talking and start sweating a little. Yeah, me too, man. I word vomit a lot. Just blah, 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 blah. I'm always sweating anyway. Whoa. I look crazy, huh? Yeah. I'm floating in space. That is Doodle Dan. That is Doodle Dan. Hello. If you could see me just floating in space. I'm just floating in space. Kicking back. Got three watching, four likes. Very casual, no sales yet. Like a beef boy in space. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beefy space boy. I'm, oh, that should be the uh, space boy. If I want to take the camera. Yes. All right. Be right back, guys. Hello. Yes. What's up, you guys? It's me, Uncle Funk, live on the NAR Tapes Network. You guys know what it is. You go to nartapes.com slash GTD. You can put in your sales and donations. That's what we're doing today. We need to be making some money. Unfortunately, we don't have really anyone watching. No one is uh, going to make any sales. Uh, that's what we need to do, though. You guys need to help us with our bills and stuff like that. And that's how uh, we're going to continue to be able to do the NAR Tapes Network at all. Is unfortunately, we don't, uh, we don't sell ads or have any corporate funding. So... Um, we're going to need donations from beautiful viewers such as yourself. Hi, Bree. I love the background. Yeah, it's fun. I love how it's a rotating um, sphere of Earth. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Um, and the sun's behind the Earth, huh? I guess so. Or maybe just... And it looks like the, the stars are like uh, it looks flying like the Earth, by, Yeah, too. it looks like the Earth is going through hyperdri the hyperdrive yeah. right now. Maybe it is. You never know. You never know. You never know. Oh, yeah, I, like, I want you to sit kick it with me on the show. Yeah. Kick it with me a phone call. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, uh. I just have to check on Zach uh, a little bit, but I'm down as well. You are now. Very good. What's up, guys? I made that yesterday. That was good. Probably good. What's up, y'all? Do we have a... Uh... 
Oh, Icon's in the building. What up, Icon? Good to see you up in those, uh, in those Twitch chats. You know, I love seeing the people up on the Twitch. Um, did you read all these Brie comments? Um, about yeah. Beef Boy in nice. Space. Yes, we did. Nice. Well, it's good. At least she's here. And i um, excited about today. We have a fun little show later for... Do you know what the benefit is even for? It's for... Yeah, it's, so, it's like the girl from... The Gretz? Right? Her 17th birthday. Sick. And Se it's her friend. Uh, has like cystic fibrosis. Oh, no. That is a bad with her. That's cool. Love to... Um, that's why we're doing that for free. Yeah, of course. Because that shit is fucked up. Man, wiping, the memories and wiping don't play for free unless you guilt us into it for a worthy cause. Yeah, because if we were to say no to that, we would we would sound like fucking dickhead assholes. I mean, there could be an easy way to, to warm our way out of it, but we didn't. <laughs> we should have just went to Desert Days like the promoter. And nah. <laughs> I'm good on that. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah. Are uh, you gonna pull the chair in, Zach? Yeah, hold on. Let me just make sure. Take a look at what I got right here. So, I got a prescription bag here. So, I got. Oh, they gave me three joints. Small, right? Sometimes the joints are just whatever. You know. And I got some uh, extract here. Let's see. I got some Girl Scout cookies. Right here. Let's see. Hmm. Yep. Smells funny. And this one. Oh, it's all over the place. That one spilled. What's my only problem with these? A little messy. Icon says, what up, Chunk? What up, bro? Um, Fungal. Yes. Will you bring me that fan by my bed? Yeah. Get a little hot, speaking of Chunk. Uh, also, you know, a cool thing I got here is a, uh, recently, Meg, um, from, uh, from... Megan Campagnolo from Rosehan Apparel has recently become a friend of mine, and she brought me a bag right here, a goodie bag. It says, Love Mom, and it had a bunch of cool pins in it and some patches. Um, Rosehan Apparel is fucking really, really rad. Look at this. This is my favorite one. What condition my condition was in. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. What condition my condition was in. What happened? I uh, caught my my little blister dister on uh, on something sharp and it made a pain in my finger. Finger? We probably plug this in under there. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. Uh, now I'm now I'm in the zone. So yeah, she, some really cool patches. You might have seen her design this uh, this cool. Um, this uh, cigarette box with the rose on it and the uh, cigarettes. It's really cool. I like her work quite a lot. And uh, I don't have any of the pins to show you because they're all around on different things now because her pins are so cool and beautiful. And I just love them. They're great. Great pins. Great company. Rosehound Apparel uh, from Canada. Toronto. Uh, Morgoth says Kenny Rogers. What's up, Nar World? What up, dude? How you doing, man? How you doing, dude? You know, it's not less goth. It's more goth. It's more goth. More than one, as they say, in the industry. It's an industry term. Term a name. Term. More goth is from Tolkien's Middle Earth universe. From where? He's uh, from the Middle Earth universe. Ah. He was Sauron's boss. Morgoth Boglar. Wow, so Morgoth is the boss of Sauron. Well, he was. Before Sauron... Before Sauron took... kicked his ass <laughs> and became the boss of, of everything. Almost. Almost. Getting the boss. Damn. For a while, though, with his ring of power before uh, Elrond and all that booty hoot. Elrond Hubbard. So, yeah, guys, this is Daddy's Doodle Dad. This is where I doodle, uh, mainly, but, you know, we're just chatting and hanging out right now. I'm going to do a dab. Doing the dab thing. So, where'd you go for breakfast? Me? Yeah. I had a bagel. Oh, yeah, a bagel spot. It was pretty good. So I had a salt bagel, with cream cheese, and cucumbers. Mm. It was chill. It was very good. Their bagels are very good. 
I must say. Mm. It's uh, bagels are one of those things, you know, like you can get like a shit bagel from the grocery store and it's all right, but if you get a really bomb ass one, it's like it's really bomb and it's like leaps and bounds um, better than what you can get. You know what I mean? It's like if you're if you're spe- if you're if your cafe or restaurant you know specializes in bagels, they better be bomb. If they're not, then you know. But they were good. They were very good. They did run out of the because uh, I guess they're so popular that they ran out of the everything and the onion, which are my two favorite ones. That's bullshit. Yeah, right. You better have way enough of those bagels. <laughs> yeah, everything. Like who doesn't want everything and who doesn't want onion? You know what, though, what I've always thought, wondered about everything bagels is, like, what's the rule, you know? Like, there's, like, a typical everything bagel, but, like, when are you breaking the rules? Like, could you put a piece of fish on the bagel and be like, what? It says everything. <laughs> they did, um, ha- it, Nicole got a, a one with locks, and it looked real sick. Oh, man, that's my shit. And I guess, like, one of their <laughs> specialties there, they have scallion cream cheese. Oh. <laughs> it, it was, like, locks and avocado and scallion cream cheese. Oh. I was like, damn. I that shit like, was like eight bucks. I was like, hell to the no. Eight dollars. Yeah. Know. At uh, Cantor's, they have that that lox cream cheese and uh, and uh, capers. Yeah. Bagel. That's, that's Holy sound, shit! That sounds like nice. Fre- fresh raw yeah. onion. Um, Icons oh JT God. says there are some pretty shit bagels. I agree. Um, and then he likes or she Asiago. likes the Asiago. Yeah, the cheese on top. I'm an I'm an onion. I like garlic bagels. You don't see those like very often, but sometimes you do, and those ones are maybe my favorite. I love garlic. Bagel and cream cheese is like a thousand calories. Isn't that crazy? Really? Yeah. Is wow. it because of the cream cheese or how thick the actual bagel the is? The bagel is just like a lot of, of bread, you know? It's like, yeah, like it's if like they were... It's super bread. It's like the fudge of bread. Yeah, like if they did it, boil it, it would just be like light and airy bread. But yeah. since they do that whole thing, it's like th- it's like a puck. And when we were eating our bagels, everyone was just eating them like sandwiches, but like everything falls out that way, you know? And it's yeah. just too much, too much. Open face is the way. Yeah, it has to be open faced. Is that what you did? Hell yeah, I pulled mine apart. Because, you know, you take one bite and then half the shit slides out the back and you're like, no, no, let's, let's separate the top and bottom and, and eat it so it's nice. I like that. Um, Horgoth says, hey, Bree. All right, we're, uh, we're up here. We're doing it. You doing the fun little doodle? Yeah. There you go. Um, but yeah, so that bagel place was in the Burger Lords, which is in the Hi Hat, which is where the memories will be playing tonight. So the bagel place was inside of Burger Lords? Yeah, I think it's. I don't know if it's a thing they do every day, but it's like the same window as Burger Lords. What? Yeah. It's called Bell's Bagels, and it's in the Burger Lord window inside the Hi Hat. Weird. Oh yeah, tonight we get 10% off Burger Lords. <laughs> so uh, we got that to look forward to. Garv works there. I know. I saw Garv the other day in Chinatown at really? Dynasty Plaza. What did he do? I don't know, walking around. I think he was uh, maybe working and he just went to walk through there to get something maybe. Oh. I don't know. You are so stupid! <laughs> <laughs> you do it the best. <laughs> That was so weird. Well, Jimmy could do it pretty good, I'm sure, too, but you do it really good. It's not my fault. Ugh. Like, why you gotta blame all Filipino people for your for your shitty stepdad? Yeah, that's what she was tripping. That's dude. not cool. That's like me being like, all Cuban people suck because of her. Yeah. You know? Be. Like, I'm not gonna think that. Like, I'm sure the guy was an asshole, because, like, you know. Stepdads are dicks. Stepdads are dicks. Especially, like, crazy Asian-ass stepdads. They're not there for you. You're just another mouth to feed, you know? Yeah. Step-parent relationship seems like it would be a really strange one. I am not wanting to do anything like that. I'd be down if my kid was, like, really um, cool. <laughs> like if like like if I was like sixty and the kid was already an adult, I'd be like, yeah, I'll be your step. <laughs> or like if the kid is like ten years old, but they're six nine and yeah. two hundred pounds, I'm like, yup, I'm ta- uh, I'm your new daddy. I'm gonna take you to the gym every day. We're gonna practice those jump shots, and um, 
We're gonna have a good life. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. I see what you're saying. You want to financially exploit your stepchild. Yes. I'm not gonna pretend like uh, like that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. But you know, the only thing that would end up happening is that the kid would resent you, it wouldn't play basketball, you would waste your time. That's true. Benji says, Coach Stepdad. Coach Dad. That sounds like a, a movie title. <laughs> uh, Benji, Coach what's up, Dad. homie? Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. What's up? When we were growing up, like, all the movies from our childhood, like, they all had to do with parents getting divorced and, like, step-parents. Yes. It was, like, every single movie. Like, why do you, mo you and mom get in a divorce? This is Dow Fire. Yeah. Like, just so many of them. Didn't Free Willy have that angle as well? Uh, or at least a single parent angle. What's the one with the uh, kindergarten cops? Kindergarten, cops, kindergarten yeah. Chevy Chase. What's the one Chevy Chase and JTT? Oh, uh, uh, Jungle to Jungle. And fucking so no. father, father, fathers. It was uh, called Man of the House. Man, Man of the, the House. house. Yeah, jungle and then jungle, jungle to Jungle is Tim, Tim Allen. Allen and Martin Short. That movie was comedy. Martin Short. Yeah. Oh yeah. Martin Short, Tim Allen, and then that little kid whose name is Cat Piss or whatever. His name is Cat Piss. In the movie. Because the kicker on that movie... Ooh, this is nice. <coughs> in that movie, it's like... <coughs> they're divorced. <coughs> but now... <coughs> the wife and the kid went to the Amazon. And the kid grew up in the tribe. And got, got to pick his name. His tribal name and stuff at a young age. So he named himself Cat Pete or something. And so Tim, Tim Allen's character... You know, trying to be a... A better dad goes to the Amazon to try and meet his son, and then brings him back to uh, the urban jungle. I think of New York City. Yeah. So that's why they call it Jungle to Jungle. Uh, Benji says, "What up to you, boys? Chilling tonight? Back on my Jaeger game? Damn, nice. I haven't done the Jaeger game in a while, while." No. Nah. But I do love. <laughs> the dangerous thing. I do love me. Um. A good, a good fucking vodka. Not vodka Jaeger. <laughs> that sounds gross. Yeah, it's gross. But like uh, Red Bull, Red Bull Jaeger is bomb. Jaeger yeah, bomb. I've never known a vodka Jaeger. I just want. I, was, I meant to say uh, Red Bull. I bet that shit wouldn't taste that bad, and it'll get you fucked up. What vodka and red and, red and, and Jaeger? I'd puke. Yeah. It would work. Remember I puked in front of the OCs. In the I wasn't there, but I in heard Berlin. about that. Yeah. And they're homies, and I don't even listen to listen to them that much. You know, I mean, I never, never really listened to them. I've checked them out now that they're homies, but uh, I like totally puked in the, the green room because it was my first shot of the night. Sometimes that shit is fucked up. You know, the first shot of the night, right? Like, yeah, dude. It, it hurts hard. Dude, anytime I take a first shot, I start gagging, and you're like, you're always like, you're all right, dude. <laughs> Every time, it's like, yeah, it's just the first one, because uh, that first one's a little rough. <laughs> It is gnarly, dude. Yeah. That's the thing about uh, drinking like that. Yeah, it's true. Ben says, yeah, so what's up, Benji? Yeah, we're trying to get some sales on here. I'm trying to do some doodles for some people, uh, draw some stuff. I've, I've, I've got some sales every episode this season, so I hope that some people will want to commission. You know, I do drawings for, you know, I'll do something for at least $10 at the, at the very, very least. But I'm doing big stuff, too, for 50 Like one of my big guys I'll do for you. For fifty dollars, you know, and uh, it's stuff you can have your wallet. You've seen my art, right? You can go to my Instagram. I sold stuff on this show and all and all over the world too, to like, to like Singapore and Russia and uh, Europe and all over the states. And these are big pieces. I've sold like <clears throat> I've sold some pretty big pieces for like one hundred fifty bucks, uh, pretty far too, you know. So. And also, if you watch any of our other shows, you know, this is a lot like our other shows. We're just kind of just hanging out, doing our things. This one has a theme, you know. So it's like, nobody orders any doodles. I might not necessarily doodle, but I, I mean, I've doodled a little bit already. Yeah, and, and you sell them for a lot cheaper on this show than you would in normal, normal yes. everyday life, right? But, yeah, yeah. But if somebody down here is trying to buy, you know, something <clears throat> they're going to use for their, their brand or that's something a, for that's advertisement, different. that's different. Yeah, we're going to talk. We're going to talk. DM on that, you know. But on personal personal pieces. Ricky, you're eating pumpkin pie. Hell yeah! Wasn't it just Thanksgiving uh, in in the Canada? My friend uh, Megan and from Rosehound Apparel was messaging me today, telling me that uh, she's making uh, a post Thanksgiving Thanksgiving dinner 
because they were here in L.A. during Thanksgiving. Ah, yeah. so they're having a... Uh, Friendsgiving afterwards. Friendsgiving. And she says she's going to make coleslaw and and roast beef. Sick. Yeah. I like that more than turkey. Yeah. I love when it's when it's like a big roast. A roast. Sunday roast, man. That was good. Ruby, what's Ruby saying? Freebreak says, it was, and pumpkin pies were on sale, so I bought myself one. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah. The I only like thing about, like, having a pie around is that, like, I just eat the whole fucking thing. Like, I can't, I just, like, can't have, like, something amazing around, and I'll just eat it. I can have, like, one piece of pie. I'm working on my discipline. You know, actually, uh, I was, um, I've, like, started back up on a meditation, um, uh, regiment, and, uh, I was reading, and I didn't know this, but... But there was an extensive research study done on um, meditation that shows that the frontal cortex and the part of your brain where decision making happens uh, becomes highly fortified by um, even in just the first few days of meditation. So, like, that's people who meditate are have more discipline. Hmm. All right. That we'll makes see sense. About that. I mean, that makes sense because, like, if you're, if you're on a regiment, um, yeah of doing meditation then that's already you're disciplined enough to do that at least i wonder if um yeah i wonder what the variables are there hmm. i got this new practice and workout um plan that i have now too and part of it is i'm keeping a diet workout practice journal and uh yeah it's interesting like right now i just had two um two of those little cookies with my um coffee so i wrote that down it's like I'm yeah right did they see I'm glad you got a little, you get a little booklet for yourself. No, I'm just using this uh, this like legal pad, but it'll work for now. <laughs> I mean, that's a book though. Yeah, but um, uh, and Bree says I plan on eating the whole thing. So it's yeah. got some whipped cream too. Hell are there, yeah! Are there not like um, cool apps you can use to do something like that? Yeah, or uh, just a um, a spreadsheet. But in this in this case, I wanted it to be side by side, um, diet workout and my practice schedule. I so see. I figured there wouldn't be. Something like that. Something like Extensive, that. yeah. Oh, then you should make one. Yeah, there you go. The Funkel. My new practice routine is really fun. I, I think I'm going to have to wait till after our show tonight in order to get my, my practice in, but... Or maybe after this, we'll see. Nice. Well, what's up out there, guys, in the Nartapes Network universe? We're here in Los Angeles. It's fucking beautiful outside. There's going to be live music in our record store today. It's cassette store day. So, uh, you know what I'm going to do? Buy one, get one free cassettes. Hell yeah. Put that on the screen. BOGO tapes today. Let's go. Oh, you want to come say hi, Chris? What's up? We got a special guest hanging out today. Our good friend, a uh, long time friend, Crooks from Guantanamo Baywatch, the band. What I sold that, a uh, Boom LP today. Oh, did you? Yeah, this guy was like... Flipping through, he was grabbing a bunch of stuff. And I saw him looking at it, and I was like, "I was like, that record's awesome." And That's he was like, sick. "Tell me more about it." And I explained it to him, and he was like, "Okay, so I got it." Nice. That's F awesome. Fifteen bucks. <coughs> Fifteen bucks. It's one of those <coughs> records where not only am I happy that we sold it because we sold a record for money, but it's like someone's gonna hear it. Yeah. yeah. That makes me happy too. That's a good record. It's a fantastic it's record. That's what's so heartbreaking about about it. It's a good record. I haven't listened to it in a while, but um. I played it recently. It's really it's still stands up. <laughs> still rap. Yeah. It's definitely like an era. It reminds me of that era yeah. specifically for sure. Yeah. Portland. Portland getting fucked up all the, the fucking daily. time. <laughs> it, all day. Pretty, uh, all, all day. All almost every day <laughs> we're getting fucking yeah. trizashed. Yeah. Chris Crux over here is actually also the uh, original drummer of the live band in the memories. Yeah. Oh, gee. Back when what we would uh, we would fifth practice and twelve pack. Fifth and twelve pack of IPA. <laughs> oh, IPA. Fine. I need to be need to be very clear there. It wasn't a twelve pack of uh, yeah. It would be and not even any of like of like of uh, like uh, Lagunitas. Lagunitas. Yeah. <laughs> So we're like, we're and the fifth of Jim Beam, fifth of Jim Beam, fifth of Jim, fifth of Jim, and um, God, those days were crazy. Fucking jam. I have some tapes still from those uh, practices. Really? Oh. Yeah. 
Memories? Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice. You should bootleg those. Alright, so uh, what's right. up out there, Donation Nation, our tapes? What's up? Speak the like button. <laughs> Chug some of this coffee. Yeah, have some of that. The coffee they have at, at Leche Le Leche is strong as fuck. That what this is? Not that one, but I had some coffee there from yeah. there earlier. Whatever that, that cafe is called. Oh, that dab's good too. You tried, oh, yeah. oh yeah, you tried this one, huh? Yeah, I tried both of them. They're both nice. Yeah. Where you Hell going? Yeah. Sick. That's great. That's what's up. Hell yeah. You guys good? Yeah, I already ate a burrito. I'm full. I'll be back. Sick. Okay. Yeah, after that hike, you know, I can't really, I can only eat so much. My stomach won't let me. Yeah, you know, that's like one of those things that uh, when you get your body working like that, it's, uh, you get your metabolism It's going, also, I gotta know? go up there like every day, so. Oh, yeah. Fungal, tomorrow I'm, I'm hiking with Avalon tomorrow. Oh, nice. Malibu. There you go. So, I don't know if uh, you're trying to go to that. I would be down with time. Uh, I don't know what she said. I opened the store, though, so I might it might not be real estate. All right. Bob D Dylan's grandma's here. I love Bob Dylan's grandma. He says, Yo. I took two perks last night and watched Blade Runner 2049. Right. What's up? Two, two perks seems like it would, I mean, I don't know. I, two perks is bomb. I'm going to let like you know. That would screw you up. I feel like fucked up. Yeah. I, like I want to see Blade Runner. No spoilers, please. Um, I've seen, I've seen, you know what's really interesting when a movie like Blade Runner comes out and you see like, because everyone wants to have an opinion on something, you know? And so it's like, like I have a lot of cool people in my like Facebook and Instagram feeds and stuff and like half of the cool people are like the movie sucked it sucked it's not a good movie and then like other people being like I'm so happy that I just saw what I think will remain one of my favorite movies of all time Blade Runner and it's like like wow it's really all or nothing with that flick yeah mm-hmm I didn't see it that's what happened with, uh, with a lot that's what happens with a lot of movies when they first come out I feel like I want to see The Foreigner really bad me too. Which one? The Foreigner. It's that Jackie Chan movie. Oh, yeah. That shit looks... I was looks. thinking maybe Tomorrow Night could be a reality. That shit look tight. You know, damn. I'm just gonna get fucking high. It looked real good. I wonder if anybody's in the buy anything today. We'll see. Yeah, come on, guys. Where y'all at in the Donation Nation? Oh, you should put yeah, Bogo Cassettes. Cassette Store Day. You should put Cassette Store Day underneath it in smaller font. Um, Bob Dylan's grandma says, I have to watch it again because, like, I was fighting off sleep the entire time. Yeah, I was going to say, do you remember it? Yeah, for sure. I remember seeing, um, the second of the new Batmans, the new, like, Dark Knight, is that the second with yeah, the Dark Heath Knight Ledger? Was, uh... Oh my god, that movie was way too long, and right beforehand, I smoked a bunch of weed, and then had, like, a bunch of barbecue at some restaurant, like, <laughs> ribs and shit. And then, like, halfway through that movie, I was, it was so hard to, to <laughs> stay up. But it was also too long, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's just too much shit in that movie. Billy G says, he, saw, he remembers the beginning and the last half. <laughs> I, well, I also saw that Blade Runner is, like, two hours, 50 minutes. Like, the that's a long Runner time. Long, yeah. That's that, a long time. That's a long movie. That's longer than Blade Runner. That's going to need two VHS cassettes. Blade Runner is just fucking sick. Two VHS cassettes. Yeah. Oh, they're like that movie's two VHSs. Yeah. Dude. What? No. Uh. <laughs> I remember the first time like. The Godfather's him, I remember, like that, right? Yeah. I remember, I remember the first time. I think. God, I don't even remember. Actually, I don't even remember the first time I watched it too, because I remember seeing it. I was like, whoa, Scarface is two. Yeah. I think like Sound of Music was two as well. Yeah, I saw that. I remember. I remember having my mom had that when I was a kid. It's so funny that you had um, to go rent video tapes. Yeah. Yeah. What a cool part of like the week though. Like, oh, that was the best. You did good in school or did some shit. Blockbuster and, and chill, dude. And you get to go to Blockbuster. Ah, shit was tight. And you get to watch movies that night. It was sick. Yeah. BDG says, honestly, the movie doesn't feel like the original to me, but it's still a good movie. I, it just didn't, like, resonate with me like the original. Yeah, how could it? You also didn't see the whole thing. And, and did Vangelis do the score? No. Huh? No. No. Exactly. So, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand, like, 
it's it's uh, it's never as good as the original. It's like yeah, obviously, like yeah. they're they're just playing on on they're just banking on on knowing that you're gonna watch it because it has that name. That's how I feel with like a lot of the movies they put out these days. Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go see the new Star Wars. You nah. know, like I'm going to, but like. I'm already, it's already like irritating me a little bit, you know? All right, it's irritating a little bit. But that universe is is hella sick and and pretty expansive. So yeah. like, there's a lot of stuff that Disney will do that that George Lucas and Lucas Films wouldn't do, you know? Like, yep. So I'm excited for all that yeah. stuff. But for like, uh, what's another another re re they did? I don't know. Who? Just any re remake of a movie. A re, re like a new a new one. A remake or like a relaunch. I guess those are different. Yeah. Um, but I feel like where I'm coming from, it's the same for a remake and a relaunch. They're just banking on the fact that you're gonna watch it because you're so obsessed with the original. Yeah. You know. I just don't give a shit. Oh, a train spotting. Yeah. But was, isn't that like a sec? That's a sequel. Yeah called T2. It's literally called T2. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, BDG says, what up, Bree? Nice, we got eight likes now. Still no sales or donations. It's buy one, get one cassette day. Cassette store day, man. Come on. We got a bunch of new tapes. Really want to get you guys to sell those. You know, uh, wouldn't it be sad if we stopped doing tapes forever because it, uh, it was all your fault? <laughs> BDG liked T2. Uh, yeah, T2. I, Why wouldn't it be TS2? Or is I want to watch. I need, I need to fucking watch that one. I need to write that down. Is Train Spawning one word? Some. What are some other movies I need to see that are out now that I can uh, download legally? <laughs> but you cannot download on the internet. Um, I don't know. Moana with the Rock. Check that one out. You watch that? No, I haven't. Seen it was on the airplane. I didn't. I did watch the emoji watch the movie, movie the other night. How was that? It was cringe. It was pretty cringy. They had some good jokes sometimes. Like it made me laugh a couple times, but it was for the most part very cringy. With what? It's that dude TJ whatever you know Moscow Mule that Miller. fucking guy. No, I don't know. TJ Miller. TJ Miller. He uh, he's like the big loud. Funny guy or whatever. I'm gonna, uh, oh yeah. Moscow Mule. Yeah, that fucking guy in that stupid ad. And um, he's Goreburger. He's what? He's Goreburger. Goreburger. That's his best thing. Goreburger's sick. Yeah. But it's not him. That's why it's so good. Yeah. Um, but he's like the main character, and the whole thing is like, he's he's supposed to be meh, and in this emoji world, like, you're just there to to do your face or do your thing. And so you, you go stand in the box, and when the kid in real life who's computer animated, he clicks on the emoji, it's like, all right, it's your turn, and then he gets his p picture taken or whatever. That is and so it goes to the dumb. And it goes to the phone, right? <sighs> and so the main character, his whole thing is like, he can't meh because he's so, he's, he's, he feels more than meh, you know what I mean? And so he goes in for his first time and then can't do the face and so the kid and it's like this teenager ends up sending a weird ass looking emoji to the girl he likes and it fucks it all up and then now you know it's just like they try to delete him because he's a he, he can't do his job and he's a malfunction and so they send the anti anti uh, virus software after him to eliminate him and then you know he meets friends and there's a love story in it and it all takes place inside of a phone I want to see that new Spider-Man about Dylan's grandma. Yeah, what's up with that? Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, Brie Baked, I'm sure. jealous. Read that, Isaac. Brie Baked Bake says, my sister's making me spaghetti tonight. I'm fucking pumped. Followed, of course, by the spaghetti emoji. I like that. See, so in the movie, there would be a plate in a little box, and it's like, okay, do the spaghetti thing. And then they would take a picture of it, and it would be spaghetti. But the main character would, like, he couldn't do the meth face. Why? What's this fucking problem? Just get with the program, dude. It's not that hard. Just be part Ex of society. Exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> it was pretty bad. My favorite parts of that movie were the shit when the shit emoji was a part of it. Does he end up becoming meh? Sir Patrick Stewart. Yes, exactly. Pat Sir Patrick Stewart did play the shit. 
Did he? Oh, gee, yeah, and that's the best part of the whole movie. Is like they all the sh really cheap shit jokes that they make when he's like in in the scene. Um, Does he end up becoming meh? He ends up becoming like the CEO of all the emojis. Like he doesn't do what he doesn't do the picture thing anymore. He just he just becomes. Uh, uh, he, they don't, but they don't. They don't take down the system. No, they don't. Well, the whole thing is like. He's of course a, not. Yeah, he's the malfunctioning. Emotion spoiler upward. alert. I don't know. No one's going to see this. So I'm just going to talk about it. So, like, he is a malfunction, and he's he's at large on the phone. He's a fugitive. That's oh, a sale. Oh, there's a sale. There oh, we yeah. go. Fuck that. Sales are dumb. Rocky Pack. What is that? Oh, Rocky. He probably got a tape because his Bible gave him free tapes. I'll see. Um, just kidding. I love sales. And so the kid is like, I need to return yeah, this he phone. Wants. He wants Jerry Rogers and the don't give a fuck as the boat you. Cool. Oh, Hell also yeah. we have the stoners tapes. We grab some of those off the shelf. Yeah. We don't have that on the website. There might be one. Uh, uh, there might be one in the shop that's inactive, Fungal. If you want to look, but we have stoners tapes from Death Records. Uh, we haven't had these in a while. I got some in the mail from Death Records, and if you guys want some, if you want it. Here it is, come and get it. Uh, na, na, na. Make you your make mind it. up fast. If you want it anytime, I can get it. But you better New Stoners! Going fast. This is the uh, original Stoners reissue on NAR. Yep. On NAR tapes, that's funny. On NAR, on NAR tapes. It's a good tape, comes with this cool. Uh, green cassette you probably can't see it in the chroma key because of the chroma key but yeah we got these in the shop and like ricky was saying everything today is bogo bogo all not everything but all tapes because it's cassette store day so tapes right now are bogo the, sto um, so the stoners on our tapes is in the shop oh i see it's just not added to any kind of yes thing. what's the description say it says nothing Just put uh Deluxe reissue of the Stoner's debut cassette, um, pressed by our friends Death Records in San Francisco. And our tapes are our BOGO today, guys, and drawings uh, are at regular price. Yeah. <laughs> and if, if you're going to buy a tape, um, just leave in the little note or comment field um, what you would like for your BOGO. And that way we know which one uh, you're trying to fuck with. Yes. This is Bogo. It's that Bogo. It's that Bogo zone. There's Leave a that Bogo alone. <laughs> There's a Bogo going on right here. Right now. It's a Bogabration. Yeah, it's a Bogabration. Let's have some. Let's see what other kind of fun backgrounds we have on this church. Yeah. All right, we got some flames. Yeah, let's see that. I want to see what that cool. one looks like. That I, don't, like. I don't have OBS. We're in hell. It'll only take a few seconds. Yeah. Daddy's doodle dan. Uh, BDG says I got a four-track recorder. I've been having so much fun making like little songs on it. Nice. Hell yeah, BDG! You can make serious ass songs on there too if you want. Oh, those, oh. Flames, those flames are cool. Yeah, it looks like we're at um, Burger King. Yeah, have it your way. Here's one of my favorites, although. It's not quite appropriate for this show, but, but I guess neither is the world. But you'll see it in a second. All right. Prebank says, that's awesome, BDG. Yeah, what kind of four track is it? Is it a cassette or is it like a uh, cassette Tascam or a Yamaha maybe? Or uh, maybe it's one of those cool digital four track machines they have. I love, I love that the four track sound. It's so much fun. <clears throat> It has that cool, uh, that it has that cool home feeling. Like there's something uh, n nice about like that the warmth you get. Uh, cassette test cam, cool. What do you guys think of that background? <laughs> it's the Matrix. <laughs> what else like I got? Very numbers. sick. Uh, BDG, I do like that one BDG says a guy I knew, I know. Gave it to me and some and some tapes to make music on. That's sick. That's tight. You should come hang out with us. Yeah, you should come through. Maybe even send us some of your uh, send us some of your shit. I would love to hear your shit, man. I'm gonna be your goddamn mentor, whether you like it or not. 
Uh, I got lots of valuable things to teach you, Bob Dylan's grandma. First of all, you're legally changing your name to Bob Dylan's grandma. <laughs> it's good. It's great. You're going to be Bunkle Double Jr. <laughs> Bunkle, Bunkle Double. Double Bacon Jr. <laughs> Double Bacon is a sick name. <laughs> yeah, Double... Dude, yes. Double Bacon. Double Bacon is pretty good. There'd be fools who would like... Did you ever get that, that one fool at Subway that was like... Double bacon, just mayo. Yeah, oh yeah. On white bread. The guy, oh, um, uh, dude, the it's driver. that oh, shit is bomb. Guy. That's tight. It's so good. That's tight. I, I would eat that shit sometimes too. Only when like everyone was gone because it was too much bacon. I remember that big fat blue star driver guy who would always get the the breakfast on flatbread with double meat and uh, and like he was always telling me that he because then he would get some cookies too and he was always telling me that he was gonna bring them home to his mom because he lived with his mom and. Uh, First of all, I didn't believe him. Yeah, like, those are for you. Up. I was like, those cookies are for you. Yeah, you could tell then, because of... Oh, my God, this background, I just... I just wait a second. Um, what is this? What is it? It's like flying over the hills. It's like an, like an eagle. Very I cool. I camera attached to it. But um, it is fucking trippy. I don't think I should leave it off too long. Um, but, yeah, and I remember one time... He was Whoa, like, dude. He was in line for yes. a... Uh, that is tight. Was, like, talking to... Uh, the, the, the fly the one? He was like, yeah, just hop on your computer around 8. I'm going to get on. We'll see if we can get you some purples, some greens. <laughs> I'm like, shit, dude. Sick. That fuck plays wow for sure. Yeah, for sure. That fool had no neck. Yeah. If you remember. He was all, he was like one big neck. <laughs> <laughs> like a pear. Me. Shaped like a pear that went straight yeah. up. I mean, at least he was. A, he worked for Blue Stars. Like, he was cool. Yeah, he was chill. nice. He would tip sometimes. Yeah. But he would get because you know, he would always get two sandwiches, so it's big like, ass ones. Yeah, big. and cookies. It sounds like. Yeah, and cookies. I just like it when you get cookies for me. Bob Dylan's grandma says, "I'm down for that." Hell yeah! Here we go. A night cross in the rain background. I like this this last one. This like flying around. Yeah, that was tight. Yeah. It is tight. I feel like it's hard to look at. You would think you said these are all Christian backgrounds. Well, not all. They're, they're I just oh, so much of them are Christian backgrounds that I imagine that 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 is the where they came from. Because it would make it, it makes me wonder, like, you know, like Jesus is cool and all or whatever. But you would think instead of like him being humble, they'd be like, dude, he is sick. He could fly yeah. like this. Like, why aren't they playing up like all that shit? I don't know. So at least that I would be fun. Anything about anything anymore? Freebake says, "Someone pay for my plane ticket to Nar, please." Where's Nar, please? <laughs> That's sick. What if the band in the shop today was like a fucking banda band, like a bachata band? Stoke, bro. Yeah, that would be fucking way sick. Oh shit. All right, what's up out there, network? Where's everyone at? Bogo on tapes. His daddy's doodle then. No sales yeah, on yeah. doodles yet. See how I'm drawing right now? Yeah, it looks cool. sick. It uh, looks very good in the name of... Is this a junk rat? Yeah. <laughs> junk rat from Overwatch. All right, guys. What was up? Where are my peoples at? Yeah, what's up? Where have all the night days the nation nation gone? Yeah, where are they at? Where the nation? Where's my nation? Oh man, those last two people on on the kitchen nightmares. Um, Woo! That was a uh, hotel hell. Or hotel hell. God damn. Working their poor mom to death. Not what, chill. What mom? The Asian mom. Uh. Were they? Well, that was part of it. She works seven days a week for them at the hotel. What? And they don't even want to be there. Yeah, and Gordon, that, that whole show ended up being, he just told them to leave. Yeah. He's like, this hotel works fine. You guys are, you guys shouldn't have bought it. And it's, so now that you bought it, you guys just shouldn't be here. And you should let the old staff just run it. Yeah. A lot of that show is like, the, the, the places, the owners are so like... Micro, they micromanage and they they're such a part of the business when when really as an owner of a place like a, a restaurant or or a hotel you hire out people to to run it yeah that know what they're doing 
you know what I mean? Even if you're, I imagine, even if you're like a, an ex, like you open up a lot of hotels, that's your thing. You're not running all, like the top dog, the top fools aren't running their hotels. They got fucking fools running their hotels. Yeah. It's just that thing. Like same reason, uh, all those shows like these people are pretentious enough to think that they can run a place like that because they want to just like walk around and stun around their little place being like I'm the owner of this yeah, place yeah exactly like you know what my shit does not stink and I just <laughs> have to run a restaurant because that seems like what's going to pull my it head doesn't out seem of my that head. hard yeah fuck off it's hard that's as a, fuck yeah it's that's a big one. part of, of that show too it's just like you guys are crazy BDG says I like the hotel one with Gordon Ramsay yeah that's what we're talking about the hotel hell it's pretty much kitchen nightmares, but like it's one awesome. one extra level because they it is they have the rooms, but then they also do the kitchen too. It's like both. Yeah, it's awesome. Because there's always a restaurant that he comes on it's better. to. Yeah. Hotel Hell is slightly better because of that, but uh, but we'll see. I mean, I haven't watched it in a while. And I'm watching it now, and uh, there's really timeless moments in Kitchen Nightmares. Yeah, more Amy's so. Amy's Baking Company. And yeah. And and Mill Street Bistro and I want to see a Kitchen Nightmares porno parody I love it when people are just like lying they, you put it in the microwave and they show them and they're like no it's not in the microwave they're like dude he, why he, are you lying he, yeah. <laughs> like that's like, like people just lying like he won't be able to tell yeah and people just, like why did you or like why? they didn't film it earlier yeah like like that's the funniest thing where it's like the producers are like okay we need to do this and that and so like, well they mount a lot of it they show them taking down the mounts in Amy's Bing Company so, like, sometimes I think they forget they're being filmed. Because they're in weird mount- they have weird mounted cameras everywhere. Yeah. And people don't always remember they're being filmed when they're, especially when they're, like, in a, in a tender situation. Oh. Bree says, Spaghetti Tom, boys, I'm out of here. Have a good night. Wow, bye, nice. Bye, Bree. I'm jealous. Slightly jealous. Don't forget to put some Parmesan cheese on your spaghetti. <laughs> Parmesan. BDD says, LMA, it's all on camera, too. Yeah. That's some donkey shit. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Um, did you say you want to see a, a porno? I want to uh, see a, a Gordon Ramsay. Isn't there that? Isn't there that midget? Not midget, but little person. Little person, Gordon Ramsay. That's um, in porn. I didn't know about that, but that sounds awesome. Because I think the article is like he died. Good shit. He died like um, in a crazy coke binge or whatever. But he looks exactly like Gordon Ramsay. You Who? should look it up. The little. The little version of Gordon, like he's a little person, but oh, looks exactly yeah, like. Yeah, as soon him. as I put a little Jeep, little Gordon Ramsay came up. Looks exactly <laughs> like him. <laughs> there's a, there's like a child Gordon Ramsay. That's what I'm finding. All okay. of these pictures are of a child. All right, yeah. Or maybe someone with a degenerative disease, but he looks like a child to me. But um, yeah, you know. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay signs nine-year-old to appear on, on his U.S. show after he sees youngster in Nets Boo. Wow. Huh. Is he British? I wonder. Your kitchen is shit. BDG says... I've made peanut butter uh, and jelly Little Gordon, LMAO, I heard about that it said like he died in a badger den. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. That's got to be one of the worst ways to go. <laughs> Oh, a badger? Yeah, because they would just badger, maul you. Badger. You'd get mauled to death. They killed, that would they take killed a while. tall people. Like, that little man didn't have a chance. So this is weird thing in my life where the first time we went to the UK, I met this guy at a bar, and he told me he was an animator, and and he was like, have you ever seen the video? He was, he was British, so he was like, you know that video, the badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom? And I was like, yeah. And he said, that was me. That's like my claim to fame. And I don't remember what he looks like or if this was a dream, you know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure it was real. And that, I met that guy once. And I love that video. That's what they say. He is British. I looked that up once. Who? The guy who made the badger, 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 <laughs> mushroom, mushroom. Oh, snake. Oh, it's a snake. Badger, 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 badger. I don't badger. remember that one. You don't remember that? I don't think so. Not really. Maybe if I see it. All right, I'm going to play it right now. <laughs> uh, E-Bombs World was like the original YouTube. Back Is that like an E-Bombs World thing? Yeah. Or like Newgrounds or whatever. Yeah, it was on Newgrounds is where I saw it. Oh, okay. 
Uh. <laughs> Bob Dylan Scramma says, I've been like super into Ralph Bakshi lately, and I like rotoscoping animation. Ralph yeah. Bakshi's the shit. Have you seen American Pop yet? You should come over uh, BDG and we should watch American Pop. I I've been trying to it. show the dudes American Pop yeah. for years, and I just haven't done it yet. It's not like the, they've been. Yeah, like, I, it's 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 definitely like on a on, on a mental list of like I really want to see that. Badger, badger, badger. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen this. Yeah, me either. Sick. <laughs> wow. All right, and then that just loops. Wow. How old is that? Is that That's like... from like 2002, I think. Wow. Yeah. That is way, way early on then. Well, not that early, but. It's a It's a good song too. Snake. I'm, I was watching American Pop Vids on YouTube. It looks awesome. It is fucking awesome. Or Ralph Bakshi has everything he's made has been fucking awesome, and he gets a lot of shit. And I don't like. He's one of those filmmakers where like I guess like people like give him shit because he was like a pioneer. Um, but I think everything he makes is awesome. And I thought American Pop was a masterpiece, and I saw on Rotten Tomatoes it had like a 54. That's weak. What do they know? Yeah. They only see watch every movie. I thought Lord of the Rings got a lot of shit, too, and I thought that was amazing. I thought Lord of the Rings was sick. That's the only stuff I've really seen of his, like, that's his movie, you know? Yeah. And that shit is tight. Did you see Cool World? Actually, I did see Cool World. Cool World is, is rough, actually. All right. I've seen that then. And then Wizards. Uh, I haven't. Um, I've seen part of Wizards. Uh, Coonskin, which is a fucking crazy, bizarre movie. I don't know what to think about that movie. I haven't seen that. That movie is like, it's like a l lot of like satire of like racism, and so there's a lot of shit that's like pretty racist and offensive in that movie. Uh, I, I can tell by the title. Yeah. And, uh, um, yeah. And then what else did he do? Uh, uh, he did the, uh, you know, the like, the in the late 60s and 70s, the original Spider Man, the animated series? In the oh, 80s? Yeah. It, well, it was like in the 70s. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's rough, actually. Cool. I think it was called Spider-Man, the animated series. Can you, can you uh, minimize the badger window? Oh, yeah. My badger. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much room for chats. Funkle. Did that work? Yes, we're good. That was a good joke, guys. I heard that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I heard it a little late. Too. Uh, <laughs> I was watching American Pop Vids on YouTube. Looks awesome, says BDG. Uh, Cheyenne says, hey, dads. Hey, Cheyenne. Hello, son. What up, buddy? Hello, son. Uh, BDG says, he gets a lot of shit over racial stuff, too, but I take it more as, like, social commentary. Yeah. That is what I feel like he's doing. Yeah. I mean, it's just hard to swallow some of, like, like, racism is really ugly, so I think a lot of people, whenever they see anything that alludes to it, they, like... No, of course not. But at the same time, it's like, well, that happened, yeah. and and for you know to move on, and you can't just pretend like that didn't happen and everything's all good. That's not how that works. No. Nope. So yeah, of course, you know, it, it's 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 hard to see, and you know, he, it seems like he's a pretty provocative, um, you know, storyteller, and so he wants to use use uh, certain visuals and certain certain things to make you feel some type of way. True. Cheyenne says, got myself a new tattoo yesterday. Very happy. Hell yeah. DM one of us. Cheyenne, I want to see that tattoo. What is it of? I wonder. Oh, I'm doodling. <clears throat> In the doodle zone. I wish we had a... Oh yeah, we, where's the doodle poodle? Go for it. <laughs> doodle poodle. Come here. Come here. Uh, BDG says, my dad used to play Ralph Bashi for me when I was young, like Coonskin and Fritz the Cat. I've seen Fritz the Cat and Lord of, and Lord of the Rings and Fire and Ice. Those are the only ones I've seen. Fritz the Cat's pretty fucking sick. Oh, yeah, Fritz the Cat I forgot about. Yeah, Although, you too. know, um, R. Crumb hated it. Really? Yeah. I heard that, kind of. R. Crumb didn't like anything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think a Fritz the Cat movie would, there's ever, he would have liked it. Yeah. I liked it. Pretty fun. Um, and I don't know Fire and Ice. 
don't know that. Come here. Come on. Nine likes or nine watching. Hit the like button, guys. Come on. Doodle poodle. It's buy one get one free cassettes today because it is cassette store day. For whatever that that's worth. Come on. There's the doodle poodle. BDG says that you ever thought of rotoscoping a music video. I think that would be sick. Yeah, that yeah. definitely would be sick. The only problem is that rotoscoping takes like fucking a year. A million years. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the craziest. You have because you have to like do every frame, right? Yeah, you 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 trace frame by frame. That's how rotoscoping works. Uh, Cheyenne said he DM'd me. Let's see that would this. Be tight, though. Let's see, see this rough. tattoo. Nice, it's got nine likes. It's, it's loading. It's loading. It takes forever. That's that's why like there's like oh, one of the like laughable things about Lord of the Rings that I think is one of the things that people are always like talking about how how it sucks is that they reuse animation so much in the movie. Like Frodo does that like where he turns over his shoulder and smiles. He does that like four times in the movie. Yeah. Sick. It's <laughs> a it's misfits like tag. Nice. Sick. That's tight, dude. I you like guys, that. You guys ever watch the Lord, Ralph Bakshi Lord of the Rings and then you're like, wow, Peter Jackson like ripped off a lot of this. Like straight up, like he like he stole that part. Like like the part where the uh, where the um, the Nazgul is like sniffing around on the trail and they're like hiding underneath a tree. That's like straight up shot for shot taken from the Ralph Bakshi <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. I love the part in the Lord, Ralph Bakshi Lord of the Rings when um, when the Nazgul like strikes the fear into the into the horse that Frodo's on, and it's like turns like the background like changes to like lightning, and it's like the entire background, but the horse is like this like oh it's so fucking trippy. Yeah, it's tight. Uh, Cheyenne says thanks, my dude. Yeah, it looks real cool. That's a good tat, man. You gotta you gotta represent. They're playing, aren't they? Pl aren't they playing on Halloween or not? When is that Misfits show? Right? Maybe it's on Halloween. But they're playing like at the F Sable Center or some crazy fucking shit like that. Because of course, um, they, they would. But hell yeah, dude. Spank that motherfucking like button, y'all. Christmas time, Cheyenne says. Okay. Okay. Uh, BDG says, can you speed up the process on the computer or would that kind of defeat the purpose of the rotoscoping style? Yeah, you definitely could, but it still takes forever. Because the look, the look is like a hand, like so, the tracing would be would be a lot faster just by nature of, of being on the computer, right? Yeah. But um, the look is like a hand trace thing. So you could, I could, we could like put like, you know, you could like just like have the computer trace every frame, but that would pretty much just be like a patch, not like an actual rose script. Right. Um. But yeah, Rotoscope video, one of the biggest music videos of all time. Aha, take on me. Mm -hmm. Rotoscoping is used in that video. In a genius way. That um, Phil K. Dick movie was rotoscoped. Which one? Um, a Scanner Darkly. Darkly. Yeah, that's right. I love that movie. That movie's great. I haven't seen it. No, you, you should definitely see that movie. Yeah, my brother, my brother, I remember when it came out, he was like, you have to see this. I still have it. Uh, Chayon said it sold out within a minute. Talking about the Misfits reunion show. Wow, they sold out the Staples Center in a minute? Yeah, it's not Because wow. it's, it's got Danzig. Yeah. It's, it's like, so, yeah. People are, people flying. are like flying. Yeah. Out for show, yeah. Uh, uh, guys, it's buy one, get one free for cassettes today only, guys. And we have the new Stoners reissue from Death Records. If you didn't get one of these uh, this summer, but they gave us a few more. They're tight. They sound great. It's mine and Jimmy and Isaac right here. Jimmy from White Fang and the Memories. And it's our little special little project. And uh, you can get it. Uh, buy one, get one free. $5 a tape plus shipping. And uh, you'll save. You'll save money. That's right. That is right. BOGO. Shout says, Ricky, I keep saying it, but I fucking love the doodle you made me. Thank you, man. So yeah, I'm still working on the little doodle here, too. Little doodle factory up in here. So yeah, if you request me to draw a shit for you, you know what? I'm feeling a little, I think I need to pep my step up, so I'm taking a take shot. A little, a little you wanna take one with me? Yeah. yeah that was one of those shot glasses right there. Got my good friend, old friend. Yeah, whatever, that one's clean. My for good friend almost ten years we've been friends. Yeah. Can I get well, one? Maybe even ten enough years for me as well? Huh? Is there enough in there for me as well? Yeah, you wanna do one? Yeah, one. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do one. Here we go. This will make me feel a little less proud. 
I gotta grab a shot glass off the table, Fungo. Yeah, it's got a lot of cool things here. This guy blowing up a little TNT heart. That one. This payer dog on a skateboard. It's really mustache pumpkin candle on a carpet. Not, not the payer skateboard. Junk rat from Overwatch. It's like weird giant dog guy like, with a fork sitting with this like, awesome. and this like weird. I think it's like a, a giant egg yolk. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Egg white, <laughs> and then it's like yeah. We have a color right too. Is there uh, more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the blue ones, but that one's good, yeah. Or right, that one's probably nasty. Probably want to want rinse. There's the, uh, there's a cool cola one right there. Here we go. I did one strikeout. Oh, yeah, that's right. What strikeout? Well, let's. Uh, yeah. It's a dab and a shot and a shotgun. You take a dab and smoke. You, yeah, you take a dab, you hold the smoke in. Oh, yeah. You take a shot. Yep. And I did my first one because I haven't really been getting that fucked up and I came to the show already kind of fucked up. Yep. Uh, yeah, and you so I was like, like, I already had like three or four. Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel pretty good. Like, yeah. well, there you go. Daddy's Doodle Dan. Our Tapes Network. Doodle Doodle. <sighs> Is that the first one? Ha ha. Ha ha. We need to do a picture series like that where it's like the first shot of the day oh, yeah. and your facial expression and different alcohols. Yeah, different alcohols. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this uh, over here, like and this is like a dimension where Gordon Ramsay is walking up to and through a door over and over again for all eternity. <laughs> <laughs> He's like That's a ghost view. Yeah. Not this again. <laughs> no, whatever. They don't care. It's just this is down. Man's here. The press mode is here. Ooh, oh, press nice. mode. Yeah, they're cool. You press mode. That's tight. Get over right. here, Isaac. Kill that copy. Now I can use that cup as my my oh. my pencil shaving Good. cup. That's fucked up, dude. So I like it when your egg yolks are orange. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's that's the color they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be more orange-orange. Yellow's weird. If you get, like, the free-range type organic eggs, especially if they're not pasteurized, I guess you can't get not pasteurized eggs here unless they're fresh from the chicken, you know? Christina Tanyati with the naughty body says, hi, dude. What up, homie? Uh, Cheyenne says, Funkle, good progress with the on the wait list. I think he meant weight, weight loss, but I like that, too. Weightless. <laughs> I was I did a good weight loss program once. I went into space. I was dude, completely that's weightless. Sick. <laughs> you got that oh, Elmo? Yeah. yeah. Dude, that is what? dope. So tight. Dude, uh, hey bro. 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 I like I like Hey bro. I like Hey bro too. Hey bro's tight. Sure. It's better than that other shit. I drank more Hey bros than I have any other beer this year. I think when I was there. Hey bro, yeah. yeah. Dude, Abro's like in the mom. three days I was there, I was like drinking with my friend, and and I had, w I had as many I beers know. as I did the rest <laughs> of the year combined, pretty much. Well, not the rest of the year. Since I stopped drinking, because I was drinking beers on. Um, thanks, Sean. I appreciate that. I've been working really hard to, to like try to watch my food intake and exercise regularly. I'm pretty good about it, I would say. I'm trying, you know. I want to have that usher bod. The V. You want that V? Yeah, I want this cut. The, the, yeah. the D'Angelo V? v. I'm going to do the D'Angelo record cover, except it's going to go even further down and show my dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's Is what that I was the that's cover? What, that's what I was... make it on the cover? Or yeah, but it like it stops like right. just yeah. most of his pubes. Yeah. It's like his pubic like bone. Like, you can see the V. Yeah. Wait, so the cover is the extension of the album of the video? I think the, the video, video is because of that, that, that cover, the maybe. Cover. Maybe they, had, they probably had a whole plan. You know? Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. The picture of my dick sequel would be would be like, like just zoomed out a little bit. Nice, Jules. What up, Jules? Long time no uh, see or here. What's good? Yo, what's dude? up, homie? How are you guys doing? How Jules? How are you doing? Cheyenne, how are you doing? Christina, how are you doing? Kevin, how are you doing? Kevin, is that Beach? Yeah, that's the Beach. I'm just gonna call you Beach now, okay, BDG. Beach. beach it's just beach now um that cooking hacks video we watched earlier every fucking egg she cracked in in each of the demonstrations had a little like black 
thing or like a dot or like some sort of weird impurity, but every single egg had that. Maybe she's getting her eggs hella cheap for that reason. Huh. She didn't tell us about that kitchen hack. Yeah. <laughs> the cheap egg hack. That's what I'm talking about. Get the misprinted eggs. That's going to be some shit in our lifetime where you're going to see a lot of uh, um, genetically modified and engineered foods, you know? And it's going to be like these like just weird eggs. I'll be like, remember when eggs look yeah. like, like... Or like you get like an eggplant, but it tastes like ice cream. Yeah. Or they're going to like... It's, I, I see it now that it's like in these big labs where they have like these vats, huge vats full of, of like this crazy liquid, like mostly clear, but like with a like strange hue to it. And then it's like they like... These like robots like dip these like electric electrode rods into it it's like and then they like go me and like sh shake up the like electromagnetic um like components in the in in this like vat of liquid and it's like er, dunk, and like all of a sudden the big vat is just like one like block of carrot and then they like pull that out and they cut no it in way. they cut it into uh into carrots that's and real I, I in my imagination oh, okay i thought we were talking about some video you saw on the internet that's sick I see what you're saying. So like they uh, they manipulate the yeah. This is going to be like matter the, manipulation. Yeah, yeah, they modify the molecules and stuff. How's that, kids? Chats. Jules said, "No, wait." Uh, Tanyani said, "I'm sleepy." Chats says, "I'm fucking good." Uh, Galang. Jules says, "Grinding man, pretty good. Miss you, fools. Yeah, I do miss you. Come through soon. Come hang out. You uh, have some free time." Beach up in here. He says, "What's going through my?" closet i was going through my closet and just remembered some clothes i bought at a store in nashville tennessee that you guys had merch in was it the cool. um uh um oh wait i don't know where that would be or no was it it was that place we played at wasn't that a no wasn't that like a there store was a store, store? Oh, it was a tattoo place we played at but what about um did, we, did we leave merch yeah at the homies like goth store I don't think so. I don't think so either. Maybe we gave him some stuff. Yeah, and then he was like, fuck this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sell this in my store. Yeah. I do that all the time. Boone's yeah. here. What up, Boone, oh, man? Uh, everyone went ahead Come and say what up with Boone. It was a record shop and it had clothes in it. So maybe it was just a... Uh, yeah. That's cool. We're going to Nashville, Tennessee. Got some good eats down there. Got some hot chicken. Get you some hot chicken. Yeah, god damn. I could go for some motherfucking Boltons right now. Dude, like I, could, fish. I could eat that every day. <laughs> I fucking love that Not shit. Not even joking, dog. It's no good. Like, anytime we, like, think about what we want to have for lunch, like, immediately I'm just like, fried chicken. <laughs> that dog's, like, wearing a Steve Ray Vaughn hat. Can't have for fucking fried chicken all the goddamn time, man. No, no, Toy. no. Uh, Boone says, been massively tired this whole week. Huge ass audition later. Two monologues and one duologue for audition, and one of the scene is massively intense. Oh. Our friend Boone is a Singaporean actor. How do you say it? Singaporean? Yeah. I don't know. Is yeah. Chinese? Yeah. What do, what do you, what is, what do you call people who live in Singapore, Boone? In Los Angeles, we're Angelinos. Yeah. Which I think rules. It's a yeah. cool. It's a really. It sounds sick. In Portland, it was Portlandians. Was it? Yeah. Because it sounds dumb. Yeah. Now, yeah, now it does, I guess. Portlandians. And well, and then there was the, uh, there's the the statue, the second largest copper statue in the country, made by the same guy who made the Statue of uh, Liberty, statue of Liberty right. Portlandia statue, which is a beautiful statue of. Um, Where is that? Jupiter. Or what do you call oh, Jupiter? What do you call Jupiter? It's it's Atlas. right on the water building. Uh, uh, or or Poseidon. Poseidon. It's Poseidon, yeah. like with the, the trident, yeah. right? Yeah, I've seen that. That's why it's on the water building, probably. I've seen that. And uh, that, is that is called the Portlandia statue, and that's what they named the show after. Rocky says, "Shout out to Bolton." Rocky's a smart guy. I'll yeah. tell you that right now. Yep. The first time we went Proud to Bolton's. Proud of two Uncle Funkful song services and a Bolton's fan, so yeah. uh, you can know he's smart. When we went there the first time, they knew it was our first time, and they fucked us up. Hey, yeah, we remember we were out there in the hot heat, and the guy like came out from the kitchen with like that shit eating grin on his face. Like, Hung up for, <laughs> you. for you. We were like, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> thanks, bro. Hope I don't touch my face at all. Yeah, I hope I don't have that to scratch my That statue is in the intro of the show. Oh, I wouldn't know because I hate that show. Huh. No, just joking. I have a lot of friends who worked on that show. I just don't really watch it. Yeah. yeah. 
Hate is not the right word. Nope. No, Singaporean is right, says Boone. Singaporean! Okay, when you make a tall Long Island iced tea, you put a Singaporean on uh, each of the. <laughs> Go home. Go home, I think. Ah, oh, alright. Singaporean. <laughs> I was checking out some Asian uh, um, geography recently. Um, Geography is definitely not my uh, my um, strong my strong suit. Not even U.S. geography, which I get better at every time I travel to yeah. the U.S. But my thing with the geography is like I can I know like things on a map, but in the real world, like I don't know whether to turn left or right ever. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like my spatial my spatial reference. It's a great sense of direction. Yeah. I can usually tell which way I'm facing. Yeah. I don't. Not that. But like. Like I'm facing north. But like, if you gave me like the blank, the blank uh, U.S. North America, I could probably name all the shit, you know. There you go. But that doesn't really help if you can, you know, if you exit a store at the yeah. mall and you don't know which way you came out of. That's like my problem. Is it the band playing right now? United States. The all right, those big chats. country. We're Nothing new going. We're all caught up. Oh. Let me check on these guys real quick. So it's cassette store day, guys. Buy one, get one free. Well, now Boone says the scene is about a guy who have a meltdown after being raped. I have to play both the guy who was raped and and did the raping. I think is what you meant. Um, yeah, that's that's an emotionally intense scene for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not to make light of it, but damn. Yeah. So like, oh, so that's why it's a duo lot because you are playing both both these characters. Yeah. Sounds like a mind fuck of a scene. Yeah. At least that's how I see it. Oh, so maybe it's up to a little bit of uh, interpretation, huh? I remember uh, I was in. I took theater classes in high school. Um, I was really into theater. Love acting, even though I've always kind of um, struggled with it. You know, it's the type of thing that that was really, you know, it was hard for me. It didn't come very easy. Get, you know, kind of removing myself from my own brain. But I remember that uh, we had did these monologues with. Um, uh, for our final one year, and I was in the class with our friend, our old friend Charlie, um, who used to play the second drum set in White Fang back when we had a double drum set situation going on. The original and, days. And um, he uh, didn't prepare his monologues for the. Um, it was two monologues he had to do for the final. He didn't prepare it, and so he improvised them both. <laughs> and um, and it was extremely funny because I knew that 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 was what was going on. And it was like just out of a TV show. Like when we were done, it was like kind of a bizarre performance to what he did um because you know i knew he was just making it up and um and our teacher was like was like wow and then like a few beats went by and i was like thought he was gonna be like you made that up on the spot but he was like do you guys see what a little bit of emotional preparation can do for the power of your sleep. <laughs> he was like, bravo, Charlie. And like, did like the like slow clap thing, and I just couldn't believe it. I was like, damn, why did I even prepare my shit? I should have just made it up. But you know what? Actually, Chuck did have a gift for like yeah, for, yeah. Oh, for that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. He did this one where he was like the devil, <laughs> and he was like, look at all these people. Do they not understand? Do they not see? Like, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's one of the two excerpts of the new script that they sent us. Oh, that's funny, Charlie. Yeah, it was an amazing. It was amazing. Who is that? Beefy? Beefy6996. What's, what's up, bro? What's up? So 6996 is where two people are 69ing, and then one person is fucking one per the person from the 69 from behind them and then the last six is just lying with their back facing the other three people trying to sleep yeah <laughs> that's a 69 96 in terms of the sexual position trying to sleep <laughs> oh man so took ecstasy with these weirdos yeah. in desert days <laughs> desert days now they're both fucking my girlfriend yeah oh man and I told him it was okay because I'm an asset. I never thought it before. Damn. I'm scared. I just don't want to talk to anybody. That's real shit right there. That's, yeah, that's and happening. you know what? I hope that that person grows from that experience. and, and yeah. Yeah. That's happening. Yeah. And I'm God bless them. Yeah. It's, like it's almost like... Okay I wonder how many people have fucked Desert Days already. Yeah. Like the, num the, like the fuck pull. Yeah. 
Looks 000. like the flood tolls at 3,000 this weekend. <laughs> what do you think? What's your guess? I guess 3,000. Really? Yeah. Do you think a lot? 3,000 3, pairs. A, lo a lot of sex, you think? Yeah. I mean, something like, you know, that's like, like, music and, and music festivals are really, in a big way, built around fucking. Fucking, yeah. Yeah. People wanting to have sex. That's why music festivals are kind of intense. And yeah. it's just like, okay. It's really drug oriented too, and I don't do drugs. Drugs are, are yeah, drugs are just evil. Yeah, I don't. You shouldn't ever even talk about drugs. Yeah, there's one thing I know about drugs is uh, they're illegal, just like God intended. I don't do cocaine, but I smell it. It smells really good. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you have to smell it really hard to yeah, see smell what it, it smells well, like. It smells so good. I smell it. I sniff. I use a straw so I can really, really intensify the smell really directly straight. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The, the best small, way to uh, smell cocaine gives me the creeps. All jokes aside, it's just like like oh, it's like so like medicinal. What? The smell of cocaine. Oh yeah, it's creepy. It's like ooh, it's so weird. Like we're buttery medicine. You could like smell it like out of someone's pocket sometimes. Oh, oh like, yeah, of course. Ooh. You're like some people will act like you can't. Like it has no smell. It's like I can smell it. I can smell right it right now. Your, yeah. your cocaine, dude. And so can all the people that are like looking, staring at you down with their lips covering because they want it so fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bust it out, dude. Yeah. Hey, Bust it out. I, uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I mean, did you? Uh, okay, yeah, but. Don't tell anyone. Just don't tell anybody else. Can we go, can we go over here? Don't tell anyone. I mean, I feel you. Shit's expensive. But... Oh. Yeah, but it's just a little bit. Just, just a tiny a bit. bit. Not only much. Some nose beers, bro. Damn. I don't support that photographer oh. because he sexually assaulted someone, but can God. I have some of that coke? God damn it. Broke my pencil. I like how you broke it in a place where you can still kind of use it. Yes. I guess it now is two pencils. <laughs> two pencils. Bob Dylan's grandma says, cocaine decisions. That would be a good white pick song. Yeah. You could also call it Coke Choices. Coke yeah. Choices. Coke Choices. I like that. I like strawberry Coke. I mean, cherry. Cherry. Cherry, cherry Coke's bomb. Cherry Coke is big. They say cocaine amplifies your personality. But what if you're an asshole? What if you're an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I used to have that tape, Bill Cosby talks to kids about drugs. Oh, yeah. Sold that. I wish I still had it. Probably worth way more now. Well, sometimes when you do the crack cocaine, it makes a thing speed up. <laughs> <laughs> and you're talking about, yeah, you don't really have Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But when you take some pills, <laughs> it makes your goes slow, slow black boots. <laughs> oh, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bill, Bill Cosby. Cosby. He really is. One uh, of the many disgraced national icons. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Things are changing, man. Fuck the establishment, man. Yeah. It's a Frank Zappa song. Oh, Man from Utopia. It's a good song. Okay, Cocaine Decisions. I did know that. Uh, Man from Utopia, great record. That's cool. That's a cool idea. Like he's from Utopia. Zank Frappa. Yeah. And he's here he's in so, our so, world. Frank Zappa's such a cynical it. dick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just doesn't get it. <laughs> Sapa. Yeah, I love it. Sapa. So I'm coloring. Oh yeah, it's looking good. It's looking like a nice, nice piece. Jimmy's here, finally. He made it. Jimmy, Jimmy made it. He uh, missed his flight today. Yeah. It's like a dumbass. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. And um, that's one thing you don't do. And then, you know, sometimes that shit happens, I guess. Shit happens. Shit happens. Yeah, they have these hat pens and they're, sh they're shit. These are shit hat pens. These are shit hat pens. <laughs> Too. All right, guys. What's up? Yeah, what's good? No, Haven't made any up. sales on no, the show. Nope. Maybe if we don't make any sales. I mean, we made one sale. We did. To the pack, the pack mate. Benepactor. The Benepactor. Um, but yeah. What is five forty four? Uh, but you know, maybe the show should gig the kibosh again. Yeah, maybe. 
sad, really. It's sad it's all your fault that the whole Dark Deep Network's over now. <laughs> it's yours. You guys can have it. It's done. Good luck. I'm Big Rick. I'm saying, uh, I'm just joking. We're not going anywhere, buddy. That was a funny joke from that show where uh, the raffle winner wins the Nartapes Network. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty good. That was a fun one. <clears throat> Damn, my face is all itchy and shit. S sucks. BDG says, I'm getting a Gibson SG special in like a month or two, and I'm going to gut it and replace it with a bunch of new pickups and going to add some fuzz switches in it. That's sick. Yeah. Nice. My dream guitar that I've been thinking of since Europe is like a, a, a trash bag with a neck full of garbage. And it has, you know what I mean? Like it has the pickups in it and stuff. I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how logistically we can make this happen, but well, like. Well, it would have to not actually be a trash bag. It would have to be like, like, a, made to look like that. Yeah, but I would want it to look like a trash bag. Or the other one that I was talking about on that tour was a, just a two by four where the neck is in the 2x4 and the pickups are in the 2x4 and it's just a 2x4. That's tight. That would be sick. With a and then the, there's no volume knobs on it, it's just a light switch that turns it on and off. Chats. That's that's my that's my uh my thing. Yeah, I mean, I imagine I get up there on the stage and like my guitar is a fucking piece of wood. Like, it's just like a piece of wood. That would look sick. With a light switch on it. Woo! On. On. We're on now. Uh, Wakefield just asked me if he can come over. Tell him nah. Say why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what for? Uh, Bob Dylan's grandma says, LML has a dead fish bones headstock. That's sick. That's tight. I really want, like, one of those, uh, guild SGs. I think he was talking about your thing. He says because he wants to suck oh, my dick. Oh, I see. It has a dead fish bones headstock. He says because he wants to suck my dick? Mine. Oh, god damn it. Tell him it's a safe space and we don't want him around. Cal Boone says, 2 plus 2 is 4 minus 1. That's 3. Quick math. Mm-hmm. I do like the garbage bag thing, though. I want a base that's shaped like a box of Captain Crunch. Yeah, I like, I, like that. I like that. I like that one. It has to have five strings, though. I play the five-string bass. Or, like, a guitar that's built into, like, a, a big stuffed animal. So, like, you're hugging the stuffed animal from the back, but you're playing the guitar. That's you know? right. Andrew WK has that cool taco guitar. That'd be really sick to do like an art performance or like an art video where you have like a guitar um, with like a pocket pussy on it and you're like sweating on it <laughs> while you're fucking it at the same time. Like in the back? You're like buff, yeah. That's pretty good. Chats? Uh, BDG says, I'm getting a Walnut Wood SD so I'm gonna put like a mirror pick, pick guard on it. I think that would look dope. Yeah, that would be sick. Be careful with it though. You don't want it to break and yourself yeah um on both my guitars there wouldn't be a pick guard because it would just either be a trash bag thing or a uh a two by four maybe both of you guys should stop worrying about your guitar's gimmicks and work on your fucking scales yeah fungal's right it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the guitar looks like it it, it does it's what, matter it's what your fingers That's do what those fingers do Yeah, fungal, fungal, fungal's right. Carly G in the building. Sub Zaddy, sub Carly. KG was good. BDG says shit. True. No, but like you know, if if you feel if you feel like your guitar looks sick, yeah, you know, and what? you go stand up there and play in front of people, it's gonna make you feel better about playing your guitar. Here's the the truth of the matter is that music is about expressing yourself, and there's lots of ways to do that other than being technically good. Yeah. Oh, Carly G's here. She's just sub zaddies. What's up, Carly? Just doodling. She's here. Talking about novelty guitars. Carly G. B. Carly G. That's what's up, dude. That's what's I up. used to play an SG, and I love the wide neck. I like. I played an SG with thirteens, round, flat wound thirteens. It was like playing 
lead pipes. You crazy motherfucker. That is insane. Uh, Beach Be Be says, I just want the SG because it's cool and the neck is wide. Yep, that's what Funkle was saying. SGs are sick. I feel like that's why I like the Telecaster too, because the Telecaster neck is a little wider than like a, a Strat. Maybe even a little wider than uh, uh, the Les Paul. Tail Boone says, five years ago, my country was infested with Chinese girls playing ukulele and singing rap songs in a sugar sweet way. Yeah, that's like America too. Yeah, sugary music is, is now hard to deal with. Now and five years ago. BDG says, I like eights. Damn! He's trying to play quick. <laughs> like, I bet that feels like plastic strings. I don't know if I've ever played on eight with eights. Eights are cool. I played nines. I like I like the one that I have right now is the hybrid where it's like it's it's a le it's or like no nine, it's, 12, 15, yeah it's nines then, at the at the high e at the low e is like if it was an eleven set yeah so fifty four yeah so I like that shit um uh, right now I have uh hundred and thirty <laughs> on my B string <laughs> that's about the thickest gauge string I've ever played I gotta say yeah. Tail Boone says, everyone likes to pimp out their gears. True. Yeah. I like, uh, yeah, it's just fun talking about that shit, too. Like, what kind of crazy guitar am I going to, you want to get, you know? It really makes a big difference, too, if you have a fucking sick guitar. Like, like a nice guitar is easier to play and it sounds good. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Um, sometimes if you have a piece, it's, it's hard to play what you really want to play, you know? <laughs> but yeah, to each their own, you know. It's whatever. Uh, it's very um, personal because not not everyone is the same, and so everyone's gonna feel a guitar th a different way. Which is, when uh, you're internationally acclaimed visionary composer Uncle Funkle, then the type of guitar that you play doesn't matter as much. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you have a um, six and a half, sometimes seven inch penis. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. Maybe even eight, I don't know. BDG says, yeah, a good guitar really makes a difference. He's right. Um, Carly just, I played the extremely high quality Fender Squire. Nice. The Squire. Hey, man, I had a Squire for years. That was my, like, that was the guitar I played for a long time. Um, Squire, are you telling me that? <laughs> so why do you think we care? Yeah. <laughs> Squire. Squire, you're here. But I like uh, if it's squire, you gotta turn it up. Is it squire? Is that what you say? Yeah. If it's squire, I, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, my I first guitar I well, ever got was a um, a Schecter Diamond series. That's cool. Well, okay, so it wasn't my first guitar, but it was the first guitar that I like wanted. saved up for yeah. and wanted and bought. My first guitar was one of those like weird like like r maroon Dan Electros. Okay. With, this, with the one single coil pickup. Yeah. And uh, that guitar was cool. Was that your was your first guitar an electric guitar? No, my very first guitar was a like a half scale because my mom got me a guitar when I was four. Yeah. You know? Okay. So it was a half scale nylon string guitar. Bob Dylan's grandma says, but there's like really amazing guitar players in the fifties and sixties that put on shit like Tiescos and stuff. Yeah. yeah of course. Who says Bushy one string plays a one string bass? Yeah. We don't we don't have any nice gear really. No. So. There, you can make it look how far we've come. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's just a testament to it's not about um, the hardware. It's about the hard, the hard it's hard, the hardware of your body and your yeah. soul. Wow, only 727 we've made so far. No doodle sales, guys. Nobody wants any doodles. Look at this cool one I'm doodling right now. This one's sick. I can doodle anything custom. I can doodle a Beatles song or a Pantera lyrics or... Uh, what did you say? A scene from the movie The Room or The Big Lebowski or uh, a mo any movie you want. I can draw E.T. putting his finger up somebody's butt. Like Carly G says, it's about the heart wave. I like that. Do you guys want a custom made-to-order song by Uncle Funkle, Free Weed, Skinny Jesus, Totally You, Dr. Jerry Rogers, The Memories, White Fang, or The Stoners? Go to Nartaste.com slash royal hyphen united hyphen song hyphen service and put in your order today for a custom song. Ranging from $100 to $250, this is the perfect, makes perfect gift um, or engagement uh, 
you should pop the question to your boyfriend or girlfriend with a custom song by the memories. Yeah, or will you, you should marry tell me? your dad. Mary, will you marry me? What if what if a kid ordered a song that told told their parents that he was uh, getting that moving out and that like sick. or coming, coming out. out or coming out? Yeah. I'm um, gay. It doesn't matter what grandpa say. It don't <laughs> matter. It's okay to be gay. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> Seriously. Anything you, it, it could be about anything you want. BDG says, I have a nice strat and some pedals. That's it. I wish I had a sick pedal boot. Your tape? Uh, you have duct tape? I have some pretty sick studio gear that I've been building over the years. Not sick, but like, like it does the job. I really wish that we had some like Try sick that. outboard compressors yeah. and an outboard now. Uh, like Steve. reverb. I'm sick of using digital digital reverb for sure. Yeah, we we want to get one of those big echo chambers. Yeah, outboard. Yeah. Uh, Boone says I'm hoping to get my plane ticks next week. All my money is going there. That's what's up. I like to hear that, Boone. Boone's Ho Hollywood. Coming. Hollywood, hey how boom. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, we ain't asking for much. Why don't you get a daddy doodle? Yes, yeah, someone get a doodle. This is the doodle den. Uh, it's almost six o'clock. It's looking like. Yep. And um, we still haven't even gotten a doodle. All oh. the tapes are bogo too right now. So. Buy one, get one free, because it's cassette store day. Beach says, I got a standard walk, classic hand-wired fuzz face, and a MXR vibe mixer. Sounds cool. What's the vibe mixer do? Do you know? <laughs> Uh, it changes it from uh, punk rock to reggae very quickly with the push of a button. I would imagine it's a ring button. Yeah, for sure. But I don't know. I've been playing with the DS1 and um, that shit ass Fender pedal. That works. So, you know, I, it's not that shitty, I guess. But you know what I mean, Funkle? Yeah. It is pretty shitty. Problem. It's just a poorly constructed, like... Piece of shit. Piece of shit, yeah. Soon uh, our ship's gonna come in, we're gonna have all this crazy gear, we're gonna make all these crazy songs, Every, everyone's gonna be like, wow, those guys are my heroes. Except for the people that are gonna be like, those guys are fucking dumb. And now <laughs> that I know who they are, I have an opinion about it. Uh, I never cared about those guys at all, but now that everyone else does, I think they're dumb. BDG says, I made sure I got pedals for a wide range of stuff. Well, that's good. You got to be versatile. Yeah. Versatile. The only wide range I need is uh, from C2 up to C6. Four octaves like Mariah Carey. <laughs> uh, my thing is kind of like, I like, my. I don't really, I, I'd rather not play with the pedals. Like, I love the JCM sound, like, for, especially for Fang, like. I did play with that fuzz pedal, but just the straight up sound on, on one of those amps, like, that's just bomb. You, you don't need the pedals. Yeah, well, the pedals... But the pedals do a lot, you know. Yeah. I'm, I know, I know, I know why. I'm just like, I love that tone um, of the amp like that. Beach says it's kind of like an organ sound that you can adjust, and then you can hit the vibe thing, and it sounds cool. Don't really know what it does, but it's cool. All right. Uh, Tailbone says metal is just surf rock with distortion. Yeah, right. Can you can you attest to that, Chris? You you play in a surf rock band, kind of. It's not the same. It's not the same, but you get the guitar skills. Yeah. You get the guitar chops. Guitar chops. Because uh, metal chops. bands, you have to you have to have those crazy chops. Those fools be going off sometimes. <laughs> you gotta be able to solo. Yeah, you gotta be able to solo. I'm the old ripper ripper. Usually, um, it's a, there's a depending on what band you're talking about here. Some of the world's biggest metal bands, not so much, but most metal bands take odd meter very seriously. There's take a what? Big, big emphasis on odd meters. Odd meters. So you got to be able to switch from five to seven, to Real eleven quick. to ten, from bar to bar, with breakdowns sometimes of just a one beat bar. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Very meticulous songs. You know? 
And uh, fools are very like, you know, you're proud of your chops, man. You work really hard to uh, be able to do crazy shit like that. True. That's why I like metal's kind of a little macho in that way, where it's like, I'm beasting harder than you, dude. Beasting is a big part of uh, this metal. Yeah. Releasing that inner beast, 666. Uh, the devil inside, if you will. That looks tight. The oh, devil yeah. inside. Every single one of us, the devil inside. <laughs> That's pretty good. Every single one of us. But yeah. What's up out there, guys? Yeah, where's uh, where's everyone at? Roll call. Who's still here? Say what's up in the chats. The chats are your friend, man. And you could tell the chat anything you want, man. It's all good. Won't tell the soul. What's up, guys? Haven't sold a doodle yet. No, nope, not even one. Not even one. Six o'clock. We've sold one tape. And, and it's buy one, get one free tapes, and nobody, and we've only sold one tape with one BOGO. One BOGO. Only one BOGO. Pretty slow show. Yeah. Um, for Friday, you know? It's Friday. Come on, guys. We did pretty good last Friday. It's true. Last Friday was good. Any, huh? Saturday. Saturday, not Friday. Well, yes, you're right. It is Saturday, not Friday. But last week was a Friday show, and that show was pretty good. Maybe that's that wasn't why. Daddy's Doodle Down, though. No, it wasn't. I that gets confused. It was not. But Daddy's Doodle Down is always hard. But we still like like a couple episodes we've done this season. We've sold some drawings. Yeah. Just, I mean, we still have. How many is that you said? Six. So oh, two. Still have like an hour and eight minutes to make some more sales, so maybe people will come through in the clutch and, and help big out, help out Big Rig and the Dark Days Network. Damn, Larry Flint just offered a cash reward of ten million dollars for information leading to Donald Trump impeachment. Wow. So Donald Trump impeachment? Yeah. There you go. But you know what? No one's gonna have that information. Like they could have impeached him already. Yeah. What information? They're dead. Is any information? Any information that could lead to his death. Yeah, now a bunch of people are going to get assassinated. Yeah. Thanks, Larry Flint. Thanks, Larry Flint. Now those guys are dead. Because they knew too much. I can't wait for Mike Pence to be the president. Yeah, Mike Pence will be a great president. Yeah, he'll be good. Mm. He's not senile like Trump. Calculated. Cold calculated. Mike Pence sucks. Of course. All those fools suck. Racist. Sexist assholes. Bob Dill's grandma says, uh, "When you guys are writing music and stuff, do you get all obsessive with like making sure everything is in the right scale and fits together? Because I feel like maybe I obsess about that too much, but I don't know. You know, in the end, if it sounds good to you, then then you did it right. Yeah, there's all kinds of music. People make weird music. Like, yeah, and there's no, I don't, I don't know. When you're creating stuff, there's no right or wrong way for it to sound as long as you." are stoked on how it sounds. Cause it's I your don't think there's really any way to obsess about anything too much in music yeah. because it's like if you want to take the time to like make it sure because like like there's also no right or wrong scale but like if, if you're like oh something about this is wrong you can just trust your instinct on that until it's right you know you know and and I'm sure like a lot of like the best licks are they they were maybe just like made up on the spot or they were a mistake and they realized wait that sounds it sick. sounds better like that you know and so you know you sometimes you just uh you strike gold sometimes you gotta work you gotta work on it for a long time because it's not really um up to par with what you want it to be um sometimes it happens all at once you know there's a lot of different different ways to look at it yeah um but you know, and people are different. Some people are the perfectionist type, where they would like they everything has to fucking be perfect and sound exactly what it sounds like in their head, you know. And there's some people who are just like, oh, it's all about you know this part of the song and this. As long as you understand that, I'm cool. And all all this shit doesn't matter. So it's like you know, 
to each their own. It's, it's one of those things. Um, Tail Boone says, when Bree comes over to NARC, can we get her to record a demo? Yeah, she comes over. Um, Lucas Gorham, hey guys, what's up, Lucas? What up, dude? Glad you hit us, hit me up in the chats. What's good? What's what? What are you doing right now, bud? Um, are you ready to rip up the motherfucking uh, hi hat? What if he was like, I quit? <laughs> y'all guys are whack. <laughs> I'm done with y'all bullshit. But those grandma says I've been constantly reading a bunch of music theory stuff because I've been trying to get it all perfect. LOL. Yeah. Well, let me know if you ever want to chat that shit up, dude. That's like one of my very serious uh, obsessions, you know. You know, I and love that's that shit. I know and that's everything about it. That's the thing too, because I didn't come up in this in this zone where I know much about theory and, and notation and structure and all this. I just know what I like to hear, and I try to I make that you know I just sit there and I and I and I hash it out until I get it right. But I am like a little. Uh, I wish I knew a little bit more about that, you know, because when we're practicing and stuff, like Funkle really has to explain to me certain things. Which I'm sure is like, you know, it's a little annoying for you when you could just say, it's this, this, this. You know what I mean? And I would love to, to learn 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 that a little more. Um, it seems that the new thing that's been working, although actually I did print out a fretboard uh, word clip for you. Cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through that's, and make a lesson back on it. But um, uh, it seems the new thing that we do that works pretty well is I put my fingers on his neck. So he's holding oh, the Oh, yeah. You, if you, like, just show me what, what notes they are, like, that... On my guitar, yeah. not on your guitar. While you're holding it, yeah. Yeah, like you're just pointing at them. I was like, oh yeah, there we go. Um, Lucas says, "What up, bros? I am with Wakefield." Nice. Why? Why though? Why? Just kidding. Uh, BDG says, "Hell yeah, fun! I'm getting super obsessed with all that stuff." Do you like Edgar Verese? I think oh, he's Edgar fucking Verez. Yeah. Verez? Yeah, French composer. Is he a, a composer? Yeah, yeah, late romantic, 19th, 20th century. Uh, he actually he lived in the U.S. for a while, though. That's cool. Carly says, how much for a doodle of David Bowie giving Gumby a piggyback ride? I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. Sounds cool. That would be sick. That would be a sick one. Lucas. That's a deal. For, do, doodle Den only deal. I would charge at least $100 for anything off the Den, so. As much as you can give me. At least 25 or 30 bucks, but as much as you want to give me. Uh, will be. Lucas, come through with uh, with Wakefield. I'll leave him. And bring your guitar and amp, too. Tell, tell Wakefield that this is a safe space and that we don't need him agitating the dog. <laughs> the dog doesn't like him. Um, Lucas, yes, come. Bob Dylan says, hell yeah, Funko, I'm getting super sad, all that. Bob Dylan's grandma says, do you like Edgar Varese? Varese. Yes. I think he's a fucking sick as fuck. Uh, Taylor says, Ricky, you still play the violin? I haven't played the violin in a long time, so I would say no, but I bet I could. But I could play it. Bet oh, 12 watching. Bet you a buck. Spank the like button, guys. Spank that shit, guys, and let's get a doodle a doodle commission in going on this this show. We haven't had one yet, mm -hmm. and we, 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 you know, this is Daddy Doodle Dick. Why don't you doodle Dan? No one did. Doodle Dan. <laughs> Order of a doodle den! Daddy doodle! KG says, let's do it, BB. I'll give you 40. There you go! Hey. Alright, what was it? It was, uh, David Bowie. Uh, giving Gumby a piggyback ride. Yeah, something like that. Which Bowie, I wonder, would she like? Uh, I'll pick a Bowie. Can it be like, uh, Zoolander Bowie? Early 2000s Bowie? That Bowie's too cool. Or like a or like a decaying Bowie. So give me a fair you go grab my uh my uh composition book that says art on it that's by my on my desk over there. Uh Tao Boone says uh Carly the G and then she's Carly says, Do I send it as a donation? Yeah. Yeah, send us a donation and then um and then just write in the, the note what it was what what it was. Yeah. And then that'll work. Ziggy era, she says. Of course. I had a feeling. Yeah, that's like the most outlandish one, right? Like, that's when Ziggy was like really, really out there, right? Or Ziggy. Davy. David. 
Davey. It's funny when you like think about celebrities and people like that, and you don't, and you, you think about them just being their first name, like David Bowie. It's like, oh, it's David Bowie, but it's really just David. Like, oh, I'm David. Yeah. It's like, no, you're David Bowie. Yeah. Still working on this David. one, but David. I'm gonna add more more stuff to the little doodles, but. Nice. Bob Dylan's grandma says, uh, do weird soul patch Bowie. Well, it's Carly's, it's Carly's doodle, so. Yeah. Oh. There you go. It looks cool. There we go. Daddy's. Need some water quick. Daddy's doodle. Doodle. Daddy's doodle is daddy doodle dead now and is not our taste for like daddy's. Daddy's doodle. Daddy's doodle. Daddy's doodle dead now because it's not it. <laughs> We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We can't be stopped now, cause it's bad boy for life. And it's like Puff Daddy's moving into the rich neighborhood where Ben Stiller and Fred Durst live, and he's totally blowing up the neighborhood, cause uh, the brother's coming through, and there goes the neighborhood, like, very, you know. That video was pretty sick, and they are jamming in the garage with Travis Barker, that shit was fucking dope. t Barks, straight out the 909, bro. Straight out the motherfucking 909, bro. Do you remember going to uh, his shop, Famous Stars and Strap, in Corona? Yeah. Go get you a, a studded bill. But a big FF. A big FF. Or, no, just the one F, right? You get that sale yet? No. Carly G says uh, Soul Patch Bowie never happened. It never happened. Yeah, so, uh, hiking every day is kicking my ass, but it's good. There you go. It, pretty soon, it'll just be like, you can just do it. Yep. And it won't kick your ass. It's true. That's how that works. That's how that work. That's how that work, bro. I am going to text Lucas. Hey, what happened to Lucas in the chat? Lucas, go, go. Spank the like button. Hit that like. Uh, we're waiting on that donation. And uh, once we get that, you'll start uh, drawing it, eh? Yeah, I'm going to try to practice a little bit of Bowie. Is that that defect fucking composition book that didn't, doesn't have lines? That's, yeah. That's so sick. I guess, like, that was like the only one there, I remember. Yeah. Um, so yeah, still waiting on debt sale, so, uh, let's, see. let's do that. That donation. For that doodle den. There we go, 40 bones! Oh. So wait, what are we at, 40? It's a sick doodle for at 47.27. It sounds like this rapper's gonna cry. Huh? This rap song playing, the neighbors are playing, it sounds like he's gonna cry. Come on, don't make me cry so much. So, so when we went. That was weird, it's one of those California barking spiders. I haven't changed this background in a while, but. I thought you stepped on a couple ducks, a couple ducklings. BDG says, hell yeah, Carly G. So, I wrote the, 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 the total out on the board. It reminded me of the shit that happened earlier where we passed this place on York and it was like one of those brunch, fucking brunch spots or whatever. And it's like um, Prosecco and Carif, Carafe or whatever of orange juice, you know, like to make mimosa type of shit. And they wrote, it was like this number and then a zero. But the number looked like a two or a three. Oh. And I was like... Is that 20 or 30 bucks? You know? Yeah. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. Well, no. The, the, the biggest difference is is I, would, I wouldn't I would ever pay 20 bucks at even for that. Um, yeah, for no, no, no. 
But it was just so funny how they wrote it. Like, they're trying to... Try to fool someone. Yeah, fool someone. Oh, I'll have the $20 uh, Prosecco orange juice thing. No, it's 30 But on the sign, it says 20 It's like, no, if you look carefully, it says 30 But it was really hard oh, to read. no. I'm sorry. Gumby, dude. I haven't thought about Gumby in a while. All right. I'm going to be a millionaire. <laughs> I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Liz sent me this awesome video yesterday because I've been posting all these like inspirational things on uh, on Instagram. And she sent me this one where there's this this woman like in her car and she's <laughs> she's doing the inspirational thing, but she's like real good and she's like she's like you're number one. I don't know no two or three, but I know you're that one. And then she's like she's like oh what what's that? You say you you say you're gonna quit? Bitch, you ain't fitting to quit nothing. <laughs> That's pretty good. Finna. I like that word, finna. 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 Where does that come from? Fit and two. Fit and two. Fixin' two. Fixin' two. Fixin' two. I'll fix it. Fixin' two. Fixin' two. For a little bit, I thought it was like, because uh, if you type in gunna wrong, it types it to finna. Because they're like so close to each other, you know? Uh, BDG says there's a giant metal poke, poke and Gumby statues at this house in Narco. Cool. One time somebody gave me Narco and told me it was XC. They're trying to kill me. That's bullshit. That is some fucked up shit, man. Yeah, I remember that. I don't talk to that fool no more. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't no friend of mine. Where's Narco? Um, Narco is in the Inland Empire. What is that? It's like next to Corona yeah. and uh, close to Riverside, I guess. It's like... It's off the 15. It's off the 15. Sunday there's going to be a statue of Funkle and Ricky and Isaac and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, Narco sucks. Bob Dylan's grandma says, like, next to Corona. Yeah, Cor Narco, the name Narco actually stands for North Corona. Um, Carly G says, where's Corona? It's in Southern California, maybe about 60 miles east of Los Angeles, northeast of Los Angeles. And, um, you know, it's just one of those old suburb farming, suburb towns um, in Southern California where... I imagine they grew like a lot of different kinds of produce, lots of citrus I'm sure because Southern California is known for citrus, citrus fruits and vegetables. Now and, it's uh, all industry. Yeah, we got entertainment and the tech industry. And, and, uh, um, and factories. Factories. And then like shipping. And oil. Logistics. And, and you know, an all right amount of oil. It's no tech. Tejas. Bueno. That was like some fucking asshole, that guys. Remember that shit I said about the statue? There's not gonna be any Isaac in that statue. No, I'm just playing. I love Isaac. If you're lucky enough to be friends with Isaac, you know what I'm talking about. You know he's the best. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. This uh, David Bowie looks slightly like Carly G. I gotta say, so you get it's doubling up. My name is Uncle Funkle. You guys are wa watching the Nartafe Network. I'd like to thank you very much for choosing um, our alternative media as uh, your form of entertainment on this wonderful Saturday evening. Yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you, Carly, for that great uh, donation for the for your own custom doodle. I am drawing uh, Gumby getting a piggyback ride from Ziggy Stardust. So, just. Don't forget his God-given ass. Sick boots. Those are like Vegeta boots. You know what's interesting, too? Is that 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 could just be Gumby. David Bowie wouldn't even have to be there for this to be a reality. Because Gumby, Gumby is the master of his own reality. Yeah. What a cool show. Gumby's fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know that guy was an ass pet. It looks like an acid show. Yeah. Gumby's 
And he's always like, oh, let's walk through the planes of this dimension into another world. <laughs> okay. Come on, Pokey. Um, did you read this Bob Dylan's grandma comment? No. We should have the Funkle statue replace the Statue of Liberty. Uh, that'd be that would be a funny one of you as the Statue of Liberty. That would be sick. Or I imagine it's that. like you naked and you're like doing something like this, screaming like, ah, uh, and your dick's a little hard maybe. Almost has a cute little nose. You know, I've been rinsing off a lot of my, um, so like with a little bit of care, almost everything I use is recyclable. Yeah? So I will rinse off my fall from, uh, oh, it's a core of my... The food cups, like, recycle that shit. Those recycling things take everything. Most, most shit they fucking take. Yeah, you don't even need to separate it either. No. They just make it easy as fuck. That's yeah, sick. Yeah, fucking I'm so dope. glad we got recycling because we really have way more recycling than we do trash. Yeah, it's mostly recycling. It's just like food waste. It's like the only thing. We don't really waste that much food. So yeah. We have leftovers that don't That's get what I'm eaten. saying, yeah. Not too bad. Or we'll buy too much of like, we'll buy, make tacos one day. We'll buy like too many tortillas, not use them again for a while. And then yeah. Probably just I'm gonna cherish this forever. It's gonna look sick, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be awesome. Gumby. Gumby. Um, but yeah, if you guys can hear, the, the band is playing now, and it sounds like they are shredding. They're doing the shred thing. You got Jimmy and, and Zach uh, trap in there. Jimmy and Zach. Zach maybe probably has to leave soon, but Jimmy's in there, so it'll be fine. Uh, Carly says, I just recently realized that Gumby is a stick of gum. That's crazy. Really? I never thought of that. Carly G says, when I was a kid, I thought he was a monster or something. I just thought he was Gumby. I didn't question, like, what he was. I was like, that's just Gumby. This Gumby's sick. And that, yeah. And then Pokey is, of course... Of course a horse. That's it. Yeah, he's a pussy. <laughs> is he? Yeah, he's trying, always trying to hold Gumby back. He's always afraid of what Gumby's trying to do. And Gumby's like, like, this is like the 50th time we're going to like go into another dimension. Like, <laughs> nothing bad has happened yet. Eric, like, it's a kid show. Yeah, we can evade danger. We're magical acid creatures. Uh, BDG says he's a stick of gum. What's the horse? He's a horse. The horse, horse. is a horse, of course. Yeah, have you ever seen my drawings? Let's see. On this, there is a pumpkin character with a mustache, head, canes. He's a pumpkin, can pump, pumpkin candle mustache. <laughs> and then I have a puppy pear drinking on a skateboard. So, And then this weird like, baby doll with a cube head. Or not baby doll, like, weird little man. Chubby Chris Slurpee man. says, do do do, ye for My life. Baby doll, baby, Harley baby, G. baby and doll. Harley G. Antonyati say, I think the horse is a horse. Of course, of course. Like, great minds oh, think alike, as oh, they say. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 that's my dick. You know. How did you do that, baby doll? All right, so I'm adding green. I'll show you a little bit what I got going on. Added green to the Gumby. Looking good. Might look like craziness to you, but. Baby, no, baby yeah, What's the background now? Molecules? So awesome. Good. Weird, baby like, doll. water molecules or something. So yeah, it's proof of God's divinity. That's the baby doll. You know, I really like that German version of baby doll from Tape Heads. Yeah. That's like a almost superior version of the song. Dude. Yeah. Yes. Baby doll's an amazing song. That might be my favorite diva song. That fucking... Is that the part in the video with the paint and all that? Yeah, they, Dude, yeah. that scene is so yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah, did a remake. Yeah, did the remake of that scene. Oh, really? Yeah, I can see that. That reminds me, we should do a Years clearance ago. sale on the uh, tub full of yacht shirts that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jimmy was saying they want to do a tape, so maybe we could yeah, uh, there you go. do a whole thing around that. I saw. I don't know if I told you this, Isaac. I told Ricky. I saw John and Claire the other night. Oh, or cool. Other morning. I was walking girlfriend at like seven in the morning, and and I'm like, fuck all, and I like turned like huh, <laughs> and they were driving by in a. Prius or something. Cool. Or Nissan Leaf, actually. Nice. So it's a hybrid. Isn't the Nissan Leaf a, a electric electric car? Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Uh, very environmentally uh, friendly. 
BDG says, I have to do a series of 12 paintings for my AP Studio Art and submit it to a panel of judges, and I'm gonna paint like some super weird shit just to fuck with the judges. Yeah, it's That's gonna be a no from me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> just paint what you wanna, buddy. Yeah, dude. It's art, right? So, there you go. Baby doll. They're always like, here's the art prompt. It's like, don't tell me what to create, motherfucker. Yeah. I can make whatever I want. Gordon served too much lobster. He's a damn boy looks oh, like me. Uh, <laughs> Carly G says you should paint Judge Judy. That would be cool, Beach. So Judy's pretty tight. So Judy's looking good. I mean, obviously they airbrush her. She's been looking the same for 25 years. Or I wonder so. what her what she looks like without her wig and makeup. Yeah. Not that I judge anything based on that, because I'm not gonna body shame, shame judge you. Yeah. But, but it's just, I, you know, know if she looks different. In she the looks entertainment, a lot more like yeah, in the entertainment industry, they definitely uh, do you up a little bit. She's a smart, powerful bitch. BDG says, just like nude portraits of myself in awkward poses on first skin rugs. That's cool. sick. That's not that weird, but but it's it's a funny idea for sure. Yeah. They're gonna like send you to a psychiatrist and shit. <laughs> Judge Judy nudes. Yeah, but like where she has those like crazy huge shiny hentai tits. <laughs> <laughs> She's like holding a gavel. Yeah. Like Yeah. And a fucking Gatling gun. Sick. A Gatling. I remember I drew, I was like in sixth grade, I was like, kept drawing like big anime boobs and stuff. And my teacher was like, had a talk with me. was like, what is your obsession with, the, <laughs> with these large breasts? It's, I don't know. I don't know, I'm 14. They look cool to play with. I want to <laughs> slap them around a little bit. <laughs> Put my face in there. Wiggle it around a little. Wiggle a little. I remember I got in trouble for telling, for telling my classmates I went to the WTO protests. My mom fucking like threw a fit. You went? Yeah, because I went with my parents. It was like, because it was a march before it turned into riots. Yeah, so it's yeah, not like yeah. It was not like me and my family went up to riot. And uh, and the next day, like, you know, it was national news. So, of course, I was telling everyone about it. And yeah. there was, like, girls marching around topless that said, with, like, signs that said, the WTO sucks my boobies. And I yeah, was like, you were like, whoa! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, dude, there was, people were throwing shit and smashing windows. And I got in trouble for talking about it. Uh. My mom called and was like, we took our son to an important protest. Yeah. He can tell anyone he wants. That's tight. They back. They backed you up. Oh yeah. Uh, Tanyati says a uh, nudie Judy rocking that booty, looking cutie. How about that? Beach says I'll I'll just submit some hardcore hentai to the panel. Yeah, I was imagining like you like he did say him nude on for rugs, but I was gonna say like you jacking off. And, yeah. You know, like you with your hand around your your pee pee. You know, I'll hentai means pervert. Me. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. I did not know that. I was not aware of that function. But that makes sense a little bit, huh? Yeah. You'll hear it a lot in uh, in hentai. Because <laughs> pervert is one of their favorite words. Pervert? Yeah. Like, oh, that man's an old pervert. Oh, that little girl's a little pervert. Uh, you know? Yeah. Pervert, pervert, pervert. Perversion is an important part of their culture. I mean, what do I know? That culture. Yeah. Oh shit, dude. I don't know if Jackass. You know Jackass. I like that show. I don't I have that. a shit with a cherry on top of it. Half a shit. Like he didn't even take the whole shit. <laughs> the other day I was walking girlfriend and and she took a shit and then she like still had a piece on her ass and she like turned to this dog behind the fence like right there and the dog like came and like stuck his face through the fucking door and like licked her shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> which dog was it? It was that that big like auburn colored yeah, dog. Yeah, at that red house, red, red pink house. Yeah. 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 That dog drinks Sydney's pee pee from her from her pee pee. Oh, Man, that, dog's that dog's a little fucking nasty. Little, yeah. little hentai. Dude. Yeah. I've seen it. Take more Tom of Finland. Yeah. That's like the my uncle uh Um he was like had all this Tom of Finland stuff like all over his apartment growing up and like so like my my uncle is a gay man, he lives in New York and uh um that was like my kind of expo being exposed to like his like art and just like being like this is like funny and kind of scary and like there is a lot of visual tension in Tom of Finland there's a lot of like 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 
huge dicks bulging out of pants and then like usually it's like also kind of got like sort of a creepy vibe where like like it'll be like two sailors who are down to get gay and then one who's like doesn't know that he's down yet and so he looks like concerned and scared and that's kind of rapey yeah but and, but then in the end realizes... and then he's he's my guess is that he comes around i like the ones where <laughs> it's like a, sure. a sailor and a motorcycle dude and they're just like both in full profile and they're just touching their dicks Tom. Tom was a pervert for sure. BDG says, either that or I wanted to like paint some rock wall style painting, but instead of romanticizing American life and culture, I showed the bad, ugly side. So it'll be like, like, like a fat ass, like a little, full uh, at McDonald's, a little, a little, Mac. yeah, a little kid with like wide eyes with a gun being pointed at him by uh, a guy in a KKK robe and, uh, yeah. and, or no, he's wearing a KKK mask, but he's got police. Or underneath. instead of people like lining up to the uh, the Christmas store to buy presents, they're all at the welfare office. Yes. Huge line. The real the real America. What did you do this baby no baby no? That's cool, Bob Dylan's grandma. I think um, both of those ideas are great. I think if you want to fuck with your uh, the people on the panel, then yeah, draw naked pictures of you with an extremely large penis, and I think that would catch their attention yeah like a food shelter says Bob Dylan's grandma yes 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 um, that almost sounded like you said food 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 shelter food um, yeah great ideas BDG uh, I would love to see those when you're done that sounds like a cool fun little project I'd love to see your art interested interesante all right, this uh, this Bowie, this Bowie piggyback Gumby is bomb so far. It's looking mm -hmm. great. Piggyback Gumby. Piggyback Gumby. It gonna be dumb just a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's a good Gumby. Um, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. So we, uh, we got that first commission for a doodle in. Uh, it'd be nice if we can get another one. That would yeah. be fucking awesome. Daddy's doodle. Daddy's doodle. Daddy's doodle. Daddy doodle. Dad doodle. Dan. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's get some more donations in. I'm almost done with Tanya. Tanya or Carly G's. Carly G's. Uh, David Bowie, Ziggy Style, giving Gumby a piggyback ride. To where? I don't know. To another dimension. To another dimension. Gumby dropped Pokey because he was being too much of a, uh, a little back. wussy. And don't forget that that could just be Gumby. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not what Carly requested, so it's not. But. Or it's like how a big thing is those those co Halloween costumes where it's like someone carrying the other person. It's David. It's Gumby doing that with David Bowie. Okay. Sick. Someone tell Sendog, get out from behind the mixer. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Sendog produces something similar. Yeah. Joango's in the building, we're the family. So, like, Cypress Hill comments on all the kinds of cool shit. So, like, I follow his National Geographic stuff, and you'll see, like, uh, like, like there was National Geographic, like, this tree in Oregon, and then Cypress Hill posted, like, an emoji of a tree. <laughs> Sick. And I, I was like, wow. Okay. That's tight. All right. They're like they were so moved by that tree. Probably be real or like something they hire. Yeah. All right, let's see. This is one of my favorite ones I've done in a while. Yeah, this one's it's sick. Beautiful. It does tell off the like car. Let me just tie it. Dwangle, dwangle, dwangle. Dwangle pooch. What the hooch? He says, word up, family, followed by Christina Tonya saying, hey, Dwangle. And then Carly G says, word up, Dwangle. The Dwangle. Ch-ch-ch-ch-dwangle, dwangle, dwangle, in the bu bu bill bill in Shimmy shimmy, call the girl both Dwangles. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dwangles was pretty cool. Yeah. I liked it. I thought it was bomb. I ate way too much. <laughs> And it was like fucking a dollar for the for the fried potatoes. Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> like, yes. All right. Very cool. I like cafeteria style food. Look at that. 
Beautiful. Looking good. Let's see how it looks in the camera. Pump. It probably <laughs> felt your dick. No, oh, Gummy looks trippy as fuck. Whoa. Guys, it's frick. That's so fucking sick. I love it. Hell yeah. I'm it glad you good. did it. Yeah. Do we really erase her anywhere? I guess some of those extra. I couldn't think of anywhere there would be one. Uh, let me Maybe a um, I can get one from the shop. Yeah. Shop. Probably something there. Cool. Of course, Carly, thank you for uh, submitting uh, a, a, a request to Daddy's Doodle Down. That's what the show is about, so I'm really happy to uh, be able to share it with you. 13 likes, 10 watching. Spank the like button if you haven't already. Uh, Brie Big says, I am a spaghetti girl. Oh, I want spaghetti. It sounds so good. Uh, Jingle says, Bowie and Gumby looks. Bowie and Gumby looks. What's up, man? Yeah. So yeah, what's up guys? Uh, Daddy's Doodle Den. I'm ready to take on more another drawing submission. I got time for another one, uh, maybe two. You know, I'll take as many as I'll stay on as long for a certain point. I gotta play a concert tonight uh, here in LA, but uh, you know, I'm down. I'm down. What's up? What's up, bro? Yeah. What, uh, he had. Let me see that. That might work. Cool. But yeah, Daddy's doodled, and I'm glad you like it. Daddy's, Daddy's doodle. Brubeck says, "I'm a spaghetti girl." That's tight. I like uh, I like spaghetti. She wants a spaghetti Joanne girl. Joanne says, "Just got home after a month of travels. Feels great. Where have you been?" Oh shit. Or wait, you were just in. Wait. You live in Australia. Is that right? No. Twangle? Yeah. No. Can Canada. Canada. Toronto, I believe. But yeah, guys, spank the like button. If you're just joining us, this is Daddy's Doodle Den. I'm Ricky, Ricky Gage. I'm in the bands, White Fang and the Memories. And every other Saturday, I do a, a, a stream on our on our very own network called uh, Nardapes Network, where we have lots of different shows. But every other Saturday, I do Daddy's Doodle Den, which is a drawing show. Just cleaning up some of the uh, excess. There you go. Right, much better now. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Very good. Ricky got me. Big Rick gets me. I do. There you go. I got you, bud. Sounds good. Got you, buddy. Yeah, I'm just doodling. I'm the Daddy's Doodle Den. We got a little bit of time left. Let me put a doodle uh, request in. You know, I just did a. Uh, this is, I just did a. Gumby getting a piggyback ride from Ziggy Stardust era David Bowie. I'll take that. I'll put a little closer to the camera there. Where I you, huh? Ten watching. Spank the like button, guys. That's my most recent drawing I've done today. It's the uh, forty dollar commission from Carly. Um, I sell my works much, much cheaper on this show. Only on this show are they this cheap. I won't really do anything for under a hundred for anything to anybody else usually. So this is the way for you to get something custom from me, and uh, you know this is a pretty big one. This is like a large piece yeah. of paper. Yeah, yeah, it's a big yeah. paper. Yeah, big old paper. It's the biggest paper in the building. It's nice. Is that sale? No, I didn't get one. What? So Mark and Love always retweets my stuff about her song, which she never, she hasn't responded. Yet. Should ask her if she likes it. No, I don't even care. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Well, at least... She, wait, she likes it? Does she retweet it? She retweets it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You got I mean, that. that's something. Yeah, it's nice. It's just definitely take what something. you can get, man. I just want her to officially respond to it and say something nice. Yeah, well... I'm going to have to just pray harder. Yeah. I'm not I, praying enough. I've been praying. You know, don't, don't pray with me. We gotta get the. Uh, that's one of the things after the uh, telephone is gonna be able to get another B camera that works. Oh, we're gonna get a few. Yeah. So if you actually see me drawing here. You can see my technique. Right now, it's like a secret recipe. So you guys see this background now? That's what y'all should be doing. What is it? It's money. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, right. got some more friends who just walked in. What's up, what? fellow that Los Angelino? That's bullshit. I feel like you live here now. Yeah. <laughs> when you texted me earlier, I, was, I laughed really I'll say what's up. North Tapes Network. Say what's up. You. You're in there. A bushel and a the sack. A bushel and a Oh, it's money falling. Yeah, but it doesn't loop. What kind of motion graphics is that? What do you mean? So what happens? Just it'll stop. It just starts over at a. It does loop, but it's not. I it's see. Not a seamless I see loop. what happened. Where's Chris? I'm in, in the hey, um, important room. In another room. In Are the c- in room? the launch control launch uh, room. Hell yeah, guys. What's up? How's everyone? Uh, how's everyone's Saturday going? Yeah, how are you holding up out there? Got 15 likes. That's nice. Got 10 watching. We are at 47.27 in sales. It is buy one get one free cassettes right now because uh, it is cassette store day. So if you go to the website, we have all kinds of tapes. Fat Tony. Um, we got uh, we got uh, Fat Tony. We got uh, uh, the new stoners or the new reissue? stoners reissues up there. Uh, Got that Particle Kid tape. Particle Kid tape. Uh, Jerry Rogers. Jerry Rogers. Very important tape. Yes, V-I-T. Yes. V-I-T. Yes, very they're all very tape. important. Yes. Very new tape is the Jerry Rogers. Uh, Dwango says, Emotional come to Canada. Was the collab... Was Col- Cola Boy at NAR? Cola Boy? No. no, we saw him yesterday at a warehouse up, in dude? Lincoln Heights. What up? What up? Artist Street. They were live on the network. Hey, pimp. What's up? The not in life. How are you? Sex Sex trap. Gonna say what's up. It's Lucas. What up? What up, America? Lucas. Oh, this is the whole world, baby. What up, world? It's the internet. It's the internet. Damn. I guess the internet could conceivably. (laughs) uh, What up, America? (laughs) Am I am I like blending in to the green screen because I'm wearing green? No, it's not green enough. Sick. Yeah. Nice. You look fine. Uh, Carly G says Cola Boy is a pimp. Yep. Yes, indeed. No, in the figurative, uh, romanticized badass. version of the term. It's like badass to me, you have a badass. Yeah. Badass. Because a pimp is a a pimp. You know, I guess some people, some people, someone got to do it. But Pumble, they're usually. Pumble's mom got real mad at Pumble when he was a kid when he started a uh, blog called Pimp Junior, and he's a kid he didn't know what it meant. <laughs> pimp in training. He thought pimp was kind of like tight. That's tight. It's pimping. Joangle says, love that fucker. That full smash last night. Cola Boy went off. Yeah. Cola Boy dank. This shit's sick. He know how to do it. He was rocking the uh, the, com- the, y- y- the communist Russia flag. What? Shirt. Shirt. Right. Uh, he, no, he was wearing like a Che shirt. And oh, And then yeah. on the pedestal where he had his, his laptop, he uh, he had the, the communist Russia, Russian flag. USSR. Yeah. <laughs> USSR. I'm black in the USSR. Yeah. All right, what's up with the chats? Uh, we're good. We're good. Where's everyone at? Yeah, let's get some sales in. If you want to request a doodle, you can go to the website, nartapes.com slash GTG, and you can set, use the donation button to send me at least $25, $30. That one I just did for Carly uh, was 40 so just keep that in mind, the, uh, the cooler... The more, you, or just the more you set, you spend, the more I'll go in on your drawing. That's right. It's a give and take type situation. If you only want a five dollar drawing, I can give you that, but you know, I'll it take it. It wouldn't be much. I'll draw him something cool, but I'm not gonna draw anything I'm not proud of. Yeah, of course. Cool. The neighbor's bumping, sounding sick. Oh, well, the neighbor going. Love it when the neighbor goes. It's nice. Neighbors. When the neighbors have come. When the neighbors have come. <laughs> All right, now I'm watching, guys. Starting to get towards the end of the show. We usually do a three-hour show, and it's uh, 6.44. We end at 7.10, so we have about 25 minutes left. Liam McDonald's in the building. What the fuck is up, player? What up, what up Liam? man. What up, Liam McDonald? Show him the uh, sick uh, doodle I did earlier. Oh, yeah. Check this out, Liam. Damn, that 
Yeah, this is one uh, that that is a a, requ a commission from Carly G. That is Gumby getting a, r a piggyback ride from Ziggy Stardust, and I did that one for forty dollars live here on Daddy's Doodle Den, not more than a couple minutes ago. Yeah, it I just did it happened. live. I just did it. Love the people. Um, says um that w that's one good title. Daddy's Doodle Den. Daddy's Doodle Den. Yep, and right now we have buy one, get one free cassettes because it is cassette store day. That's right. So definitely check out the website, guys, and uh, hook up your your, 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 your Nartes family, and uh, just go and uh, let's, let's just have some fun. All right? Hook it up. Hook it up, man. Throw down for some of the craziest clowns on the internet. Yeah, man. Come on, buddy. Love the people yeah. says love it. I love, love the people. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you over there in Twitch land. Yes, I was on Twitch. Twitch land, yeah. Over at, uh, at YouTube, we got nine watching now. We had 16 likes, so that's good. We had some people coming through and watching. We've made some, a couple sales, only two. We've sold a couple tapes. That buy one, get one free offer that still stands. That's right. And we uh, sold a doodle, but that's it. That's all we sold today on this episode. I'd really like to sell a few more things. It'd be cool to sell a few more tapes on the BOGO deal, you know? That's right. It's only $5 plus shipping, and... Uh, We'll do more than one, on, but you can buy BOGO endlessly. So you can buy four tapes and get four tapes. You can buy ten tapes and get ten tapes. Like that. That's tight. Yeah. No limit. Cool. Love the people start following us on Twitch. Thanks for that. Thank you. Appreciate that. And if you want to go to our website, uh, it's narratives.com slash GTG. And there's tons of different things you can buy up there. And there's also... Um, a donation button where you, that you can use to request a doodle from me right now, a daddy's doodle then. I'd be proud and happy to, 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 uh, to take any requests. Like, I just did that Gumby Sticky Stardust, and uh, I've done lots on the show. I did a scene from The Room a couple episodes ago. I love that movie. The Room is my favorite. And, uh, you know, I've done some, like, I did Mean Mr. Mustard Beetles, and that, that piece ended up becoming a pin. Uh, Liam McDonald said, Gumby Co Bowie Collab. Yes, that is tight. Thank you, sir. It was pretty good. Uh, and so, yeah, go to the website. And also, don't be afraid to smash the like button. I'm still... still. Uh, there's a show going on. We run a record store called uh, Narburger, and it's right now it's cassette store day. And there is bands playing in the store, so you might be able to hear that guitar right now. Uh, but right now, we're, I'm, just do I'm still just coloring some of my uh, doodles here on my little... Uh, I'll show them this one that I've been working on. This I started this one this episode, except I had... The little, the little junk rat guy, already, and then the little guy with the pink hat in the bottom. I had them already when I started. I did those last night. We're still a junk rat. If you guys play Overwatch, you'll know uh, what I'm talking about. Junk rat is a uh, character on my, that game, my favorite real game of all time, and uh, it's up there, man. It's a pretty good game. So I've been playing The Last of Us again. That game is fucking awesome. That game is fun and it, it is fuck. It's, it's all stealth. It's all stealth, not getting caught yep. with your pants down. So what's up? What's up out there? Yeah, what's good with everyone? Drangle says, so chill. Of course. Thank you. Of so this course. one's just for me that I'm just doodling right now, but I can doodle anything you want. Uh, any style, except actually only my style. And uh, But I'll draw it for you. What did you want me to draw? Hell yeah. What's good? We only have like 20 more minutes left in the show, but if we get a, uh, a drawing request, I will stay on longer and then time to finish it. Cool. Very good. Liam says, uh, love The Last of Us. What the yeah. heel, Joe? Because <laughs> Sheena says, I'm dying some stuff, so I've been stirring for about 45 minutes. Nice. Wow. Liam says, mushroom zombies. Yeah, that's the uh, Last of Us. Yeah, it's true. They look, they look. Some of those ones look like that. Well, they're like it's like, uh, what's it called? It's like a type of mushroom that they a parasite fungus they mentioned. I see. Something taps, yeah, yeah. taps or something like that, or I don't know what it's called. Yeah, Christina um, did her typo. Nothing is dying, but she's dying some clothes. Nice. No one's dying. Nobody's dying. Except Christina. Dying her clothes. Yeah. Alright, she says nothing is dying here except me because she's been stirring uh, mm. a pot of 
fabric for 45 minutes. Yeah, I bet that's hard. Um, but that's one of those uh, English, uh, it's just how it's spelled. One fuck, you know, no, no, that's just uh, the way it is. Done. Mm -hmm. Dying is dying and dying is dying. And they're both spelled this way and they're both pronounced the same way. And just because. Just because. Yeah, we got a show tonight too. That's right. What time is that? 6.50. Oh, I was hoping that was a sale. It wasn't. Yeah, we're playing at the Hi-Hat in Highland Park. Yep, right the memories. There off, right there off York. With no parents. With no parents. The Aqua Dolls and, um, who's the other band? Abandoned Light Light or Lily. I Lily. Think, yeah. I don't know who that is. Never seen that band. Um, so, yeah, it should be pretty fun. Um, it's a benefit show for um, Sick Friend. Yeah, it's a... the. Uh, Lydia from uh, from the Regrets is tur turned 17 today, so the she's having a fundraiser for her friend with a serious illness as her birthday party. Yes, she's nice. Her. Very kind, um, big heart she has there to uh, you know sacrifice her birthday for um, for her friend, which is awesome. And so yeah, we're gonna play that. It's gonna be a crazy uh, rock and roll show. Yep. And um, it should be fun. They got the Burger Lord's window right there. Hopefully uh, our friend yeah. Garv is working and he can hook it up. That would be dope. That would be dope. Otherwise, we get a 10% discount um, for playing the show. Yeah. Wow. Cool. <laughs> I get a, I, I get a get 50 cents off or something. I think that's have an air tie. Uh, maybe, no. but I, I don't know. I have to look. So what's up guys? I'm fucking tired. We gon' do this or we gon' do this. Do the Do this coke. Do this coke, do this thing. Do this man, do this rings. Do these thing, do these one. What do we oh wait, do these lower. I need one more hair tie to make my outfit complete. I'm gonna um, look at my makeup job in the mirror though, because I'm probably fucked it up. See, my eyesight's all fucked up. Some contacts. There you go. Like wearing glasses all the time. Can you get contacts on Zenny? No, but I can use. I can get them on. Medical. Huh. That's cool. Yeah. I used to wear contacts. I didn't really care for it. I hate it. Yes. I want, I want it. But you're right. Not having glasses is sick. And like you kind of forget that they're there sometimes. The yeah. same way like you forget your glasses are on your face. The glasses or the contacts? Yeah. Having to put them in your eyes and stuff yeah. like that. Imagine if Jimmy started wearing contacts, like watching him put try to put the contacts. He's like shaking, like, I can't get it in. The yeah, that'd be sacky. Um, but actually what happened, I left some contacts in overnight while I slept. And like I fell asleep on the floor. And like when I woke up, they were fu my eyes were like red, 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 red. Like the most fucked up they've ever been. And so I had to go to the, uh, the urgent care. The urgent care. It's so urgent. <laughs> Emergency. Urgent, urgent. Oh, yeah. Emergency. That would be a cool punk album. Urgent. Urgent care. Um. Hell yeah, hell yeah, where's everyone up in the chats? Let's do another one of these roll calls. We're, uh, we're getting to about the, uh, the fifth, uh, the final 15 on the show. Yep. And uh, I want to see who's still here, who's still watching, who's still um, participating in the uh, chats at the Nard Tapes Network here on Daddy's Doodle Dan. Doodle it, Dan. Doodle Dan. Daddy's, Daddy's Doodle Dan. Yep. Strong's doodling. Got my man Isaac backing me up. I needed him today because I'm Lynn. really tired. Lynn says, on the topic of Bowie, watched Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, the other day. Cool movie and soundtrack by Sakamoto. Sakamoto. I don't know like much it. about that. I haven't seen that. 
Uh, Dwango says that Mickey art box is hot, hot fire. Thank you. It is pretty cool, huh? I've had it for years. But oh, yeah. not like since I was a kid. Since I've been an adult. Ish. If I'm an adult now. Uh, Carly agrees. Yeah, the soundtrack is so tight. Which one? For uh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Who's that? I haven't seen it. I don't know. I, I'm assuming that Bowie is in it. And um, and Sakamoto coming through with the soundtrack. Nice. Who's that? I don't know. Sakamoto? Like Sakamoto. <laughs> Uh, Duango says, I watched The Prestige a few days ago, and Bully was in that movie. Killed that role. Yeah, Tesla. I forgot. The he Prestige is pretty sick. Yeah, movie's tight. I haven't seen it in years, but I liked it when I was... That's the one with Ed Norton, right? And a uh, huge, huge, huge Jackman. <laughs> you mean Wolverine? Yeah, Wolverine. Wolverine. Uh, Carly just says, Ryu... It's got Wolverine and Fight Club in it. Oh, I see. Carly just says, Ryuchi uh, Sakamoto is from Yellow Magic Orchestra. Oh, there we gross. go. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, the movie is all in Japanese, but it's kind of good. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's lots of movies that are, are in other languages that are phenomenal. Like, uh, um, like the movie y'all are talking about. Van sounds pretty good. Van and the Stop. They're doing yeah. their thing. I played with them, uh, uh my last freebie show in Orange County. Oh, nice. That's how the show was set up. Very nice. What's the chat say? Uh, Dwangle says, uh, Harry Hosono. Yeah, Harry Hosono's awesome. Uh, very good. All right. So, uh, how about another, uh, sale? Let's get another donation. Let's see if that happens. Oh, the Hosono was bay. Yeah, it's just amazing. <laughs> we still got 14 minutes left on the, on the, on the uh, Daddy's Doodle Dan for tonight. How y'all feeling out there? Sounds pretty good. Ready okay. for spaghetti. Spaghetti sounds really good. I wish it was spaghetti lords. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of so burger good. lords. I'd be like, yes. Yes. I guess town is right there, too. They have pretty good pizza. Yeah. But, uh... I'm trying to stay away from that cheese. Yeah. Is that cheese dough? That, not that dough. Is that cheese dough? All right, all right, guys. We're getting there. We're getting closer. Triangle says, "Far, feeling far too good. I'm gonna sleep like a big silly baby tonight." Is I what I imagine you're saying? Nice. Cool. Very good. Yeah, you said you just got back from traveling, so you know that first, uh, that first day back where you get to just lay out and and and. And decompress is always fun. It's always great. It's always uh, needed. Smoke weed. I smoked so much weed that day. Is needed. Sometimes you need to uh, recharge a little bit before you go. I love getting back on tour to get into LA and smoking that Cali weed. Yeah, that's just tight. I like that too. Yeah, I wish it was a Kush right now. Kush, 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 Kush. Yup, I like the Kush. It's the Kush, Kush, smoke. Kush smoking that Kush. Yeah. Kush. Kush, 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 Kush. Or if it was Kush Lords. Ooh, Kush Lords sounds like a thing. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah All right. Man. Been a great, great episode. Yeah, it's been good. Not bad, man. I made a few sales. It's good. It was slow at first, but it picked up. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you just need one really good one to make it all worthwhile in the end. I mean, it's cool that we, uh, we sold some. Cheyenne says, hey, I'm coming to NAR right now. Can I come and hang out? Yeah, we're going to have, we have to go play a show. A little, yeah, we a have while. to, like, leave our spot around 8. In, like, an hour we to have to, to leave. the show. Um. The last band that's playing at NAR is playing right now. So... Come to the show. Come to the show. I think it's... That's a fundraiser. Yeah. He can come, right? Uh, Dwango says, Cheyenne, Jelly Boy. Jelly Boy. 
Cheyenne says, I gotta leave at 10. Ah, uh, well, like we said, we got a show. Man. We have a show that we need to. We're gonna go to right when we close the shop at eight, and then just hit us up. Yeah, to DM one of us, and just come to the show or whatever. We play at nine, I think nine-ish or something like that. So you could totally probably catch our set, um, and we can hang out at the venue. Yeah. How, how about that? Here you go. How about that, Shyam? We got ten minutes left in the show. Valaman, Valamanesh. It was a great show. It was a good show. Don't do a dab. It was a good show. You know? I'm really stuck in this drawing. That one's sick. T two. Still stands up. Nice. A very, a very good. So yeah, Cheyenne, come, come, I don't know, just DM one of us and just come. The show is really close to here, um, the studio, so it's not very far Yeah, it's from Narberger. It's right up the street on York Avenue, I believe. Yep. York. Like, York, cool, man. Yeah, it feels that way. York. You're gonna regret it. Remember when we go. Carmen in South Park he, he's like in the morning kid introduces himself and Carmen's like, Yeah, my name's Yura. You're a fat. <laughs> and the kid's like, Ha! You're cool, man. <laughs> and Carmen's all like like disarmed because <laughs> the kid can't be fun. That's our cassette story day tape. Yeah, stoners reissue um, right here. And all the tapes right now are five dollars off. Or not five dollars off, BOGO. Buy one get so one I free. guess it is kind of like that, yeah. Buy one, get one free if you buy one cassette tape like this uh, Stoners on NAR. Um, reissue, you can pick another tape on the site and get it absolutely one hundred percent free. Got Zooks. So five dollars plus shipping. You'll get two tapes, and um, it'll be fucking sick if you did that. It'd be really awesome. Yeah, it'd be cool to get a, 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 a tape sale of the Stoner's tape before we go. Yeah. Shine says, oh, damn, I can't go. I got to pick up my step bow from Homecoming at 10. Hell, yeah, Homecoming. I never went to that when I was in school. I didn't go to any of that shit. Fuck school. <laughs> uh, why we can't have nice things? Says, are you going to send a tape player with it? Why would we? Of do course that? not. We only sell cassettes. They're, they know what they're asking. They're being a little, a yeah, little I know. cheeky. I know. Uh, you can find one at your local uh, Good, Goodwill. Store. Goodwill, Salvation Army, <laughs> um, any secondhand store. You can probably find a uh, a used Walkman <laughs> box. Um, yeah, I would suggest that you go in there with a cassette and some batteries so you can test it there and then you'll you'll find you could probably find one relatively easy. Relatively easy. That's the thing I'm trying to make you understand that the not network is next time. <laughs> Drango says, Shine, hit those BOGO tapes while you're there. Hey. Insane deal. Well, well. Shine can't make it anymore. Yeah, so. he's not coming anymore. I don't have much purple, huh? You don't got that purple, 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 purple. Now, now, let me down. Let's add purple to the pink slide. These blue. Adding purples to the pinks, put them in my drink, getting fucked up, what the fuck you think? Uh, we can call it whatever it says, do you guys have a tape players in your cars? Uh, it's still pretty common for cars to have tape players, I feel. We can call it whatever. We can call, why we can't have nice things, because you're right, that's our song. Yeah. We can call it whatever is our song. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. That's on his stick. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, cleaned up. 
go. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> Cleaning up now. <coughs> always an important night. You guys always gotta clean up. Don't piss off your readers <coughs> or your studio mates. Hey, hey. Don't piss me off. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Torch him up, Isaac. Get in there. Like I said, do you guys have tape players in your cars? What cars? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those, those cars in the lot have tape players in them, yeah. There's a van up <coughs> front. Jimmy's van. We have, like, a wannabe junkyard. Yeah, we had we got we got rid of one broken down van and just replaced it with another. Well, it's not broken down, to it's be fair. It's just illegal, but apparently. Yeah. <coughs> There's no title. Don't drive it. There's no plates, no title. It could That's be so stolen. Stupid. It's like, could be like, stolen. Oh, that was, it has no title, so it was stolen, so now it's just a huge waste <coughs> of resources and, and it'll cost all this money to like like these like like property's weird. Yeah. Property's theft. <coughs> Very good. Yeah guys, went on a hike I yesterday, a <coughs> went on a hike this morning, going on a hike tomorrow morning. I think nine o'clock is what we're thinking. Nine yeah. for the hike tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I'm down to go if we can get back for my shift, but I don't know. Cool. No, it only gives you three hours. Yeah. It's not a little lot. I'm not saying probably back to the afternoon. Who's supposed to maybe switch to Jimmy? Drago says the stoner's shirt fucks me good. A stoner shirt? Oh, it's uh. Oh yeah. Is it. That's his. Uh, that's a, a stoner. From Stoner's Night, L.A. Stoner's Night, L.A. Sponsored by Jaw Wobble. Yes. Wakefield's dead to me. What did I do? Hmm. I don't know. I, I'll like, get back that, to you on that. Is that like a John Mayer thing? <laughs> yeah. You're dead to me. Too. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, great episode. Made a few sales. Not bad. Better than nothing. I'll take a dab. Can I do a dab? Yeah. Damn. You look really nice, Uncle. You think so? Yeah. Hell yeah. You look like a really fucked up kindergarten teacher. <laughs> uh, that's the future liberals want, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye. Baby dab, my baby dab. Do dabs I'll do is a fun your, thing to do. Oh, I'll, I'll do the well, dab. Well, it's like uh, Mario. Uh, oh uh, yeah. It looks like Mickey has a pig nose. Yeah. Mickey has a pig nose now. All right, guys. It was a great, great episode. We got three minutes left. Uncle's gonna do a dab. I fucked Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I put his teeny mouse cock in my mouth. It's probably big. Oh, it's big. Yeah. 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 Y
play an instrument they've never played before or speak a language. Yeah, I've that heard they've... the language. Of yeah. I didn't know that the uh, playing a little Yeah, there, oh, was, yeah. there was a guy in like the early 20th century who um, like fell down some stairs, and when he came to, he could play the clarinet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And they were like, you've never done, Where's done the that closest before? stairs? But then again, that was like 100 yeah. years ago. So, who knows? Maybe, Maybe it was shit. fake news from the past. <laughs> <coughs> well, guys, the time is now 7.10, and that means it's oil, and that means it's time for us to go. Uh, thank you for a great episode, everybody. Nice seeing you. Enjoy you typewrite. Fuck us. Night, night. Says Jungle Pooch. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank Good night, you everybody. Guys. Uh, see you on Sunday for Getting Fat with Skinny Jesus. Isaac will be making... Uh, uh, we were thinking about doing... I don't know. You were thinking about nachos or... Uh, oh, yeah. Nachos or a ceviche, maybe. Ceviche, maybe. Something like that. Carly said, I heard of a guy who had like Alzheimer's or something and a coconut fell on his head and the thing was cured. Whoa. That's tight. So I just got to bang somebody on the head who has Alzheimer's and hopefully it'll fix something. If not, then... <laughs> Cure. You know, you know what has shown the absolute highest rate of uh, recession rates um, and time with family in the treatment of Alzheimer's through therapeutic means? Music therapy, by far. People hear music from their past and it and it fucking brings them back. Yeah, like that's cool. Alzheimer's. That shit's crazy. That's man. cool. Well, that like all of a sudden they, they can remember stuff from that time. Yeah, and like they remember their family's names and shit. I don't want to like start us all frying on the network. But I yeah, some crazy shit doing research for that. All right, guys. Well, see you. See you on Sunday, you guys. Have a great or to, fucking tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow, tomorrow for uh, getting fat, skinny Jesus. And if you're in Los Angeles, come to the show tonight. Yeah, at the hi-hat. It's for good cause. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.